episode 32 of The Man's Armasin. Armasin. With Tasnia today on episode 32. Yeah, just for disclaimers, we guys actually say the date we're recording the podcast, July 17. July 17. Oh, why? Just because, you know, she's a public servant, so we got to make sure. Be. So anything I say yeah. on this she's can't be held against She's already government. Okay, he's making a triangle on his forehead. Just, mm-hmm. <laughs> just so people know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna expose you. Stop this. We're gonna expose you. Welcome to the Man's Art Monster. Thank you, you for know? having me. This is quite an honor. Is it? it I mean, is. You know, this is you, this is probably the first time you're ever gonna listen to an episode. No, I listen. <laughs> you just you just knew us because <laughs> of my narcissistic tendency. Uh, yeah, you're just like hold up, <laughs> a platform to hear myself. <laughs> Yo, only people who like wearing headphones and listening to themselves <laughs> are narcissists. Don't you too, Dre, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the whole meaning behind that, but I don't like hearing myself. But I got I to gotta wear the headphones. Mm-hmm. I like hearing the sound effects and everything. Yeah. Got to make sure your levels are blessed, all right? I want to make sure I sound sexy. That's cool, because we're not going to do anything to alter your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Put the stems in. We should have made her smoke more. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That would have been lady. Get a bit more raspy. Yeah. I can do that. How's everybody's week? It's been a good week, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, just been chilling at home, doing my thing, trying to rest up my hands and things. Um, yeah. Hasn't nothing been too too crazy. I'm trying to remember how my week yeah, was. Yeah, same here. I was like, <laughs> yo, I have to ask you guys first because I'm like, shit, how did my week go, really? Nothing crazy. Yeah, that's I ordered what I'm a headlight, mm-hmm. and I'm still waiting for that. That should have been... I got it. the headlight is for uh, my car. Show to Mia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, show to Mia. She's getting fixed soon. Um, but yeah, that's that's really just been my highlight. Outside of like editing photos for people. It doesn't yeah. sound like a highlight though. It is what it is. Hence why I asked you guys first, but <laughs> I somehow became second because I put myself out there like that. So, f- fuck you. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> but yeah, Tess, how was your week this week? So Tuesday was my last day of work. Since then, I've done absolutely jack shit. I fucking love it. But at the same time, it's like, what do I do with <clears throat> my brain? I feel lost in a sense, you know? Are you just a busy body? That busy like, body. I need to use my brain. Really? Yeah. So it's like taking a day off, like just like, like just... It just doesn't compute with you? Nah. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know how to chill. So, yo, maybe this might be a cool time to... Ex- well, when you start work. Your On Monday. Job. Today's what? Saturday? Today's Saturday. Saturday. All right, yo, do, do this. Because I've done it once. Okay. It's, com- it's called a digital detox. <laughs> it may sound funny. No, no. Actually, no. You know what? No, never mind. You seem to be a productive think, person. This yeah. only works for people who are not productive. Yeah, I'm, so I'm a hold back. I'm not an idiot. No, I still say it. Hmm? Still say what it is. Like, yeah, let's detox. talk about digital detoxes. Because I do um, those quarterly. You do? Yeah. That's cool. Wow. You really got your head on your shoulders. I wish I, I wish I knew what it was to be like. Like that. Like going places? What? Hold that. <laughs> Yo, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying, though? Uh-huh. <laughs> she does it herself. I can only be this way with him because this is my brother. <laughs> yeah. We are brothers. We're siblings. We are, we're brothers and we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what she means to say is, um, she saw my fucking twenty three and me results, mm-hmm. and uh, instant connection. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, it, but there's a little bit, there's a, there's a big quarter percent of some Indian there. She just happened to see Bengali and shit. Ah, so all our <laughs> brothers and sisters here. So I just claimed him. So yeah, that, that's in reference to what Taz gonna be talking about. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. Uh, digital detox. Digital detox. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Because I'm really afraid, and I'm like, yo, where am I going? Yeah. So, digital detox. I did this shit because, like, I Percy, uh, Percy, personally, um, felt like I was wasting time doing shit. So, the whole point of it is a kind of, it's like a mental thing for yourself to kind of see where your time really goes Mm -hmm. so um my experience with it was you know i I stayed home i didn't 
I didn't like watch TV, play games. I only looked at my phone when it was like a call. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't listen to music. It was one with myself all day, but I did read because I didn't want to drive myself crazy. You um, read or you didn't read? I re- I did read. Okay, I, okay. I read a book. Um, Which book? Uh, what's it called again? The uh, something uh, not to give a fuck. I always forget. Oh, all yeah, the subtle yeah, yeah. art, not giving the fuck. Yes, yeah. yes, good yes. book. Subtle art, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, really cool. I always kept hearing it was a good book. I hate reading books because I always fall asleep. <laughs> but this book had my interest peaked, and I kept reading it. And that was my Sunday. But I didn't want to just waste my whole day reading because yeah. I was still getting bored. Um, but after that, like, you know, when you just kind of sit by yourself, you're kind of like, fuck, this is a long time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you kind of were like, I wonder how much time passed. I think you you find a clock or something, so you see your phone, and like shit, that's only been thirty minutes. Like yeah. that felt like two. Mm-hmm. Oops, sorry, ginger ale. That felt like two hours. And from there, you kind of start thinking, "Yo, what could I have been doing in this two hours?" Mm-hmm. I mean, and the whole point of it, well, at least for me, was it was like to catch catch what I would want to do in two hours. Or what I would have done in that two-hour span. So, you know, if I thought games was one thing, then it's like, okay, cool. I would like to play games, but I want to do something else rather than play games. Because it's kind of just tricking your mind. All right, so playing games and all that shit is, like, on a on a deep scientific level. Like, you're rewarding your brain with, like, dopamine every time you do something mm-hmm. you want to do. So it's kind of just tricking your mind into doing... Like, finding dopamine and other productive things. So, that's like I stripped myself away yes. from my games and everything. So, in that time period, I was like, man, I would have been playing games right now for maybe about whatever, ever time. But I wonder what else I could have been doing. And I'm like, oh, I started thinking about more productive things, X, Y, and Z. And then you kind of still stress yourself because you're like, oh, I still can't do nothing for today. So, you kind of just, like, tell yourself, all right, tomorrow's going to be crazy because... I kind of want to do that. I haven't done it in a minute because, like, my old slouchy self came back. (laughs) But I'm dying to do it again. But I keep finding excuses to not do it. But it is healthy to kind of do it once in a while. Mm -hmm. It's just hard to do it every time because it's, like... So much, like, distractions you can try to Mm -hmm. keep up. Yo, life is just, you know, coming up on everybody. So it kind of just, like, you kind of feel like you have no time to kind of just... So you take a break, basically. Take a break. Yeah. When you kind of, when you kind of do. Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's only till you make the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like basically, like the world's gonna keep going on, you know. So like, I feel like even if you try to ch- play catch up the whole time, there's like nothing you can really do, you know. Facts. Um. Yeah, that's why I just do everything at my own pace. Cause I'm like, yo, what's the point of me rushing? It's still gonna be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, um, as Nick said, with the whole detox and everything. Yeah, I try to do that certain times, but, like, you know, because everything that we do is on social media, it's kind of harder for us to just yeah. be like, yo, like, we're just going to just cut for, like, a couple of days or something. It's not even a couple of days, it's just for a day. No, nah, but, like, I, I, I like to do it for a couple of days, mm-hmm. you know? A couple of days, you can at least be like, yo. That's a luxury, to be honest. It is a luxury, you Harder know? for you guys, though. You guys are creatives. Like, that's your brand. Mm-hmm. That's work. A lie. But then sometimes, like, work is mixed with pleasure, and then mm-hmm. you get lost in the sauce, sauce on IG, <laughs> and you're like, oh, man, like, and three then, hours? I've just been scrolling. Yeah, and all you see is Jonica. Who's <laughs> Jonica? <laughs> no, IG girl. I, I don't follow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who that is. So your explore page is a bit better than most men. Hmm? Mine is full of chinchillas, <laughs> cars, and, like... And zebras getting their face eaten off. No. <laughs> no no kind of but no <laughs> but uh of destinations wholesome Car, cars chinchillas and destinations wholesome mm. Dre Day no that's usually, well it depends on what account I'm on um True. if I'm on my main page it's probably just like Tings basketball um I don't know, like some clothing stuff, music. Mm-hmm. If it's on my photography page, then it's like, it's just like, I have like some car stuff, like just because like how people take their photos um, and a bunch of like graphic art designers and stuff like that. And 
And then if I go on my dog's page, then <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of like animal stuff. So you know, it kind of varies which one I go on. Yeah, depends on my mood. Most days I'm just on you know my main one. Yeah, just liking basketball and things and stuff. Bear things. Yeah. What's yeah. on What's on your explorer page? I think right now it's just all things. That's all I'm seeing. Wait, why do you just have bear things on your bear page? Tings. I bet you just creep. I do creep, and I like <laughs> them. <laughs> That's weird. Wow. It's her it's her government job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Illuminati, bro. She works for the Illuminati. She can't pull up IG at work. <laughs> she's she's the feds. We have the feds here. I actually got the feds on the pod. That's weird. I don't think anybody's gonna trust us ever again. No. Nah. Joking. <laughs> she's amongst the few people who are keeping the world from going to shit. Thank you. Helping out you know, stopping World War Three. I just want to say I ain't doing shit, <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate it. Just that's what the government. Your <laughs> nah, the government people just you know they have you thinking like that. I have to expose the government, you know. Mm-hmm. That's what half of this podcast is about. You mm-hmm. guys are in like, control. It's the the people are, are in control. We basically pull people up to moss with us, but realistically, we're an inside splinter cell job to do, you know <laughs> combat the government. I mm-hmm. lied. Don't fuck us over. Because I heard if we put these things out, they could actually, like, filter us and find us. Uh, we'll roll the dice. More fans, am I right? I like that. More fans. <laughs> More viewers. Nothing to, look, nothing to see over here. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't collected extra syrup or anything. I lie. Wait, what? Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to edit that part out. This guy's trying to incriminate himself. Take time with that. Joking. He incriminated <laughs> himself in the last podcast about Mia. Stay Whoa, sorry. In a way, but not really, you know? Snow Allegra dropped R&B album of the year so far. That's your take? That's my take. I didn't listen to that, to be honest. Listen to it. I have her on the playlist for this month. You know, make sure you guys go listen to that. JD Monthly Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of brain farted because I was like, uh, uh. Um... Yeah, yo, honestly, I think she she really did drop like the the R and B album of the year so year. far. R and B album of the year. Because I didn't want to say album of the year just because I'm like I, I don't know if I can put it over the Tyler album. Hmm. But she has two Tyler features on it. That's cool. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Um, the reason why I say that is because I seen people. No, nah, I don't want to say people. One person say that. Uh, <laughs> And I and I and I trust their their critique. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hmm. What did they say? Maybe they just kind of said it's not like her type of album, you know, mm-hmm. like what we we were kind of used to. But I have to be the judge of that. I have to be the one to take a listen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Let us know. Let I can't give you. I can't give you my own take. I'm sorry, but if you say it's album. R&B album of the year. Yeah, I think it's R&B album of the year so far. I think I need to hear that like two more times and then I'll take a listen. It's also only July. I hear that. That too. But well, I, I also that. make wild claims too. <laughs> I lie. Like for me, I gave the J. Cole album 7.5. Oh. I gave it another listen. I think I gotta bump it up still. <laughs> All right, man. I gotta bump it up to like maybe like an 8.5 right now. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. You're a fan. I mean, I expect that. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, man. What's I, know, I, I know how much you hate J. Cole, but... I don't Ooh. hate him. I just think he's boring. I actually think he's a cool person in, like, in person. No, I hear that. We're just talking, like, critically just for music. <laughs> music? Yeah, his music is boring. Mm-hmm. Not for me. I actually do enjoy the... The microwave shit to a, to a, to a degree. What do you mean the microwave What's stuff? Microwave? I don't want to say microwave, but music that won't like be super rememberable. Only, only like memorable to you, mm. like personal music. And there's mm. there's a lot of those newer songs that I fuck with. Yeah. Like, um, I use my brother as, as like a as like a source of like music, like where I could find music sometimes, Shout which has dream. been cool. And it's cool to tap into. Uh, like, what what the new thing is. Just because, like, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Like, mm-hmm. you look at, like, who we grew up listening to, and it's like, 
not to say they've capped, but they're at, like, such a status now that it's, like, I feel like we've only been paying attention to them. And there's been, like, so much people that probably, like, came out after. Obviously, we know mm-hmm. of people who came out after. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's just kind of crazy that it's, like, if you kind of don't pay attention, you almost start realizing that you're almost only keeping up with, like, the people you grew up yeah. listening to in high school. And you're missing out on And you're kind of missing out on... And I feel like... The new that, stuff, basically. And then... Yo, it's even funny because some of those people who, like, it's kind of like are the people who you grew up listening to, mm-hmm. when they start switching up their styles, it's probably because of, like, somebody, somebody who's newer mm-hmm. and who's, like, sick. And that's why, you, I guess, you see a lot of them either, like, signing them now and everything. But, I mean, that's always, like, been a thing, right? But I feel like now it's been a lot more easier. Well, hip-hop is a, is a young man's game now, you know? I think it's, it's always been, been. It's always been a young man's game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, like... It's usually the younger generation that's going to be, like, consuming the music, you know? And it's, like, you, you don't want to be, like, keep hearing, like, someone, like, Fabulous. Imagine he's talking about shooting guns back in, like, 03. <laughs> it's not relevant. If, yeah, like, imagine if he's still talking about shooting guns right now in 2021. You're going to be like, yeah. yo, like, come on. You're, you're still shooting guns at man? Just, like, like, after all these years? Yeah. Get it how you live. Huh? I said, like, get it how you live. That's cool, but... Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. But it's different, you know what I mean? And... I kind of feel like um, like those kind of people that like get stuck and just only listening to the same music from high school. They're mm-hmm. usually the ones that like hate on their new music. Yeah. Like, yo, when I was in high school, man, it was like I actually had real bars, and it's like, yo, music changed. Yeah, it's not all about the bars. It's you know, it's all about the other stuff. Yeah, because some of these producers, man, they be going crazy. Mm-hmm. So you're like, yo, sometimes you just be listening to something and you're like, who the fuck did this? The what? Yeah. And that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's not even about the artist, like, fully the artist nowadays too much. It's just like, yo, who made this beat? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, okay. Facts. But Snow Allegra, R&B album of the year so far. Did you listen to it? No, I haven't. Do you listen to Snow Allegra? No. Uh, What What do you listen listen to? Man, what do I listen to? (laughs) Let me open up my Spotify right now. You don't even have a person you listen to? Okay. Uh, right now, can I tell you guys something? Mm-hmm. I'm really into Forever Friday right now. Who? Forever Friday. Who that? He's a Toronto Toronto man. Oh, the like R&B rap. Yeah. yeah, R&B rap, yeah. And he's doing great things. I have like him on repeat. R&B rap, so is it like a Bryce and Tiller? A little bit. Kind of sounds like a Bryce and Tiller. A little bit, type. yeah. Just he's like, he has that you know grunge, what? dark. No, I was just saying, like, based off her description. Oh, yeah. Because she's, like, singer or rapper or something like that. Oh. Singer or rapper. I'm like, sure like who's singing and rapping? And Tiller does that a lot. Like a better Roy Woods. Yeah. Okay. I forgot Roy Woods does that. Yeah. Does he sing rap? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look he'll sing rap. Look he'll hybrid. Yeah. And he, and he also tries to little add local vibes. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Forever Friday captures... The vibe when you're on like the gardener at night, mm. and you're driving that. in I and out like of that's Toronto. Just always like a Toronto standard, though. Like yeah, like safe, like safe has that vibe too. It's like if you if you if you get the what the gardener vibe, then yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> it's like yo, this is the one. <laughs> I can see it on the gardener. That's actually the check stone. I mean, yeah, we gotta raise the bar to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Can be can be letting the garner be the the, <laughs> the <bar>. barometer, yeah, <laughs> for good Toronto music. <laughs> the fucking garner, yeah, that's a starter bar. I think y- y- if anything, that's a good place to start. Yeah, yeah. it can be the. It's like the first stepping stone. Like when you when you get a gardener banger, then you're like, all right, <laughs> I'm a, I'm I'm gonna take this shit. But I feel like gardener bangers are just kind of like 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 a personal kind of song. Like it's not really a. Nah. Gar- Yo, it is because Gardner songs, y- it's only you that fuck with it, and only you are picturing yourself like driving or being in a car listening to that song. Not everybody. I hear you. Because you, you when, I, when it's, it's. Yeah, yeah. I hear you on that. But if it slaps, though, like people, everyone will vibe with it on the no. Gardner. You don't mm. think so? How about like Recognize Party Next Door? That's a Gardner song. I feel like all parties music. All the yeah, way. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, that's because, that's because it passed that benchmark like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Like, he's he's like, 
he's a his his stature in like I guess at the time of the music thing like he was like he's like a Toronto art like like artist like he he knew about him mm-hmm. like, like his projects were, like were known type shit but like if you're starting out like the the gardener is kind of like I feel like it's like a personal take like you know what I mean. Like, it's hard to say, man. I feel anytime I hear Gardner, it's mm-hmm. like it's like driving music, something to drive slow to. Yeah, yeah. and that's the vibe I'm going for. So you ask me what, what am I listening to? That's mm-hmm. what I'm listening. No, to. no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I was talking about how like the Gardner being the like a certain like level of like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is it for <laughs> us mm-hmm. outside I, of Toronto. Yes, you think? Mm-hmm. Eh. I think we need to do better. We'll do better. What would be the highway for for people to to pass now? Would it be like the 404? 407? No, the, the garden is perfect. I'm just saying, yeah. like, <laughs> we need to have something different than yeah. a highway. Like a different like, highway, like vibe check, where it's like, like, yo, like, like on this highway. yo, like, the song popped off at a, at a, at a certain, like, club or some shit. Right. Mm-hmm. That'd be cooler. Yes. I like, yo, if it passes this club, it's sick, because everyone goes here. Mm-hmm. Yo, but that's the thing. Like, we don't have a, like, spot like that. We I don't. mean, we kind of do. There's places popping up all the time. It's just Where? about... It's just about who does it the most popular and who, mm-hmm. who's known. Like, I don't even know. Like, say, say for instance, if we, the culture, <laughs> decides to say, like, all right, Apartment 200 is where man's break their music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then it's like... It's like, yo, that's sick. Like, it popped off over here. Yeah. That's where everyone goes. Yeah, but you probably need, like, an actual true music head to be running a spot like that, yeah. you know? What? No. No, because, like, a place like they, Apartment they, they 200... They have DJs do that. They have DJs come and spin there. But do you feel like DJs are the same, like, how they were back in the day, though? I'm just saying, it's just reliant on the people. They would just like, put the friends on. Mm. And that's what I'm saying, I, like... It'd be diluted. That's what I just said. We need to have a bar bigger than, like, the highway. Because yeah. I feel like the highway is just, like, a personal mm-hmm. thing. Okay. <laughs> you don't really get, like, a true... Like, a personal, like, real... Ex- like You don't get a answer. true scale of, yeah. like, what you... Like, what really passes the vibe. Like, know? it's almost like... Because you could play slow music at a club or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you play, like, a party track after... Yeah. You've just been here and bear, like, upbeat tracks. It's like, like towards like, the hey, end of the night. Something. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that could pass the vibe. Like, people be like, yo... What was that song that I heard at the end of the day or at the end of the night? That was hard. Like, like I'm really relaxed now. And if it popped off like that, that would be cool. Yeah. Because then everybody, like, you probably get, like, a, a bigger kind of scale, scalable number. Everyone's got like. Shazam now. They'll just Shazam yep. that quick. But, hey, what do I know? I just think that the Gardner is a weird scale. We got Nick here, Toronto Music Authority. No, nah, I'm just saying, like... Trying to level up our sound, I, I guess. I just feel like we... <laughs> We could, we could, uh, we can do, we can level it up. We can. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Look at the stars, you know? Yeah. You got, apartment 200. You got Drake. Not apartment. That was just an example. Like, what's the venue that all like new artists, like they pop off from performing, like a live set? I don't think we have that. We do. Like the weekend did it. It's probably the ACC. Oh, Scotia no, Bank. No, no, no. It's a tiny oh, venue. On, I'm tiny thinking about venue. like... Oh, tiny venue. Is it the what? Danforth or mm, It might be Danforth. I don't know. I could no, be wrong. No, tinier. I'm thinking like a room. Like the, the Drake Hotel. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that nah. one was going from. Um, Who knows? But I'm yeah. just saying like if we had a place and we did it, I think it'd be possible. It's like how... Uh, it's like how New York and some places have like the SOBs or some shit. Like, oh mm-hmm. shit, it's popped off here. Mm-hmm. Or like comedy clubs. Something. Yeah, definitely like comedy clubs. Ooh, what if comedy clubs opt in to be the new venues? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. But Intimate. I don't think they'll do it. Racism. That, and then also the fact like you know, they already got their, their whole thing going. They'll probably be like, yo, start your no, own thing. No, the comedy community needs this. <laughs> no hate on them though. Because... You know, comedy is something that, you know, I That's think a needs to skill. be preserved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of, I don't feel like that should get eliminated. Because, you know, they give, they give everyone more of, like, a brighter outlook on things. Like, they break things down. They make things more digestible. Yeah. You know? Some real-life stuff. Well, it depends on the comedian. 
But yeah, it'd be really good to be able to break that down for people to actually digest. Um, but like, yo, maybe we maybe we could be the one to start something like that for, like, the music community. It'd be like, yo, a comic every, club. No, not not a comic club. Just oh. like a like a music club, where like people just like try to. I feel like that gets shut down by the city so fast. But yo, would that get shut down by the city fast? Nah. <laughs> what? You don't think so? I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like was looking at me as like the authority. Like a, no, it wouldn't be a condo. It would just be like a. No, like I'm a saying local unless venue. it's not like a condo being pitched to the city or something. I feel like you're not gonna get like a venue. No, it's like a local venue. You know. No, what you're I mean? not gonna get it. Like. A couple hundred people. Small I feel commercial like the only way you space. get that is if like you buy like yeah. a if you rent a space. But even then, it's like the the man who probably rent, runs the space for him and uh, we have to like get rid of it because government said so. Mm. We're close on. I'm here though. I'm on your side. For now. For, n- <laughs> for, for now. the next 24 hours. 24 wait, to 48 wait, wait, hours. What, what do you mean? You're on our side. Um, you know, I, I support oh, the creatives, till, till, the community. Till you're on their side. Exactly. <laughs> till you're on the side He's of... catching up. Oh, <laughs> you're just not trying to expose yourself. The side of the man. Yeah, yeah. You want to work for the man and be okaying the fucking condos and everything. Listen. You're gonna support the gentrification. Oh my god. <laughs> Feeling attacked. I, I can't even I can't defend myself. Is that true though? A little bit. <gasps> oh <laughs> don't hold me to it. How how could you? You're supposed to be the people's person. I am the people's person. No. The Toronto taxpayers pay me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not what I'm. T- oh no, we're not. T- we'll, we don't pay Toronto taxes, do we? We just pay no. Peel. Peel. So we're bus. You guys are fine. I mean, that's cool, but still, oh my gosh. It is what it is, huh? The bag you is big. You live in. She gave you the Kanye shrug. <laughs> just to show you how real it is. Yep. So. You know that 7,000 fans would be a lot of TFC game on Saturday. 7,000 fans. That's they today. Pro- they pro- oh, yeah, really? Yeah? yeah, it's today. Is there a way to see if it's really packed out? Um, Are I all those people vaccinated? They're not, no. They're not Probably doing vaccine not. checks? No, you don't have to be vaccinated. Are you double vaccinated? Me? Yeah. What? Why do you want to know? No, I'm just curious. <laughs> you know. Because you're iffy to me, you know? I, I just don't know where you stand. You're iffy to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh no, the game's still on right person, now. You know, it's starting now? No, it's already like been playing. Like I feel like they minutes. did that ever since they seen all those people in Little Italy yeah. celebrating the Ita- mm-hmm. Italy when they're like, <sighs> "Yo, everyone's wearing no masks." Yeah. They're like, "Oh, okay, you know, what? fuck it, let's just." It's, it's not we can do. No, we can do. So I want to see should, what the numbers are. They two need weeks to let that. Corona Bana Coro Coro Bana happen. Coro Bana. <laughs> Coro Bana. <laughs> yeah, there might be that one person to be like, you know what? I'm going this year. I don't even care. Nah, we need the streets need to start their own caravan for real. Mm-hmm. That'd be wild. Cause how's that? How's that happening? How you have seven thousand people at a field? Yeah, all all stuck up in one place. True. Rather than having caravan where people could walk and spread out wherever they like mm-hmm. along a whole road. Yeah, you know, everyone's gonna Yo, be bunched up though. Catching a bubble no, is not like six feet apart. They don't like niggas. That's the problem. <laughs> and you need to do something about it, Tasmia. Listen, I'll I'll take these requests and I'll I'll, I'll put them. Yo, to the tomorrow boss. you're catching a fat two-page letter for me. Bring it my way. Be like regular font. It's gonna be cursive, a lie. No, I'm gonna make that shit tiny as shit. You yeah. have to read that shit like it's fine print. I'm just trying to figure out if you like me or you don't like me. No, you work for the fucking government. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> the govy. But nah, that's crazy. I just hope that after this, that means the Raptors are coming back mm-hmm. because I'm tired of not seeing the Raptors back here. Facts. Do you feel it? No, I'm not going to ask that question. I feel like we always ask that question. I feel like, yes, the Raptors will turn up once they get back here. So. A lie? Just Trust a matter me. of time. But nah, the city right now, but things are looking good, though. You know, we're getting back to normal low-key. Mm-hmm. Um, I think indoor party, like indoor eating is coming just now. I was indoor eating yesterday. <gasps> so, it's, Whoa, so it's back where? to normal, It's right? back to normal. I've been downtown like every weekend. It looks what? like pre-pandemic. Mm. Inside? Inside. Inside. So you got the government access to go inside before it even <laughs> happened? <laughs> 
That is so crazy. Yeah. The diamond. I was taking I mean, the triangle. I was doing a couple of vodka shots last night. Inside. Inside. Outside, I was inside. not outside. Yo, I wish I was a government official low key. <laughs> <laughs> Not you know, from here, from you know, like just maybe hang with me sometimes. I do like free a, access bus. I'd be like, okay. uh, we're with the government. <laughs> <laughs> what? So we're just walking, and be like, uh, we're, 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 we're with the government. We're with her. <laughs> yeah. Can you actually do that? I don't think I have that much club. Wow, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they always say. Give me a couple of. You weeks. know what it is? I think I have we're not cool enough. No, no, it's not even that. That's what it is. No, 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 no. Because you're leaps beyond. We brought you on this podcast. I'm nothing, bro. Compared to you, I ain't shit. We brought you on this podcast. (laughs) 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 She's like, yo, I'm not hearing what you're saying, but like, yo, you come on this podcast. (laughs) I think the only muscle I can flex is something around parking in Toronto. I think I have free parking. Really? I don't drive. Anywhere in Toronto? Anywhere in Toronto. That's actually, that's actually a like, golden ticket. Can you give yeah. that to anybody? Because I'll take it. For Mia? You and Mia? To park anywhere in Toronto? Yeah. Okay. Can you do that? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll read the contract. Are you a government <laughs> official? Come on. I'll try to, I'll try to work something out. I'm I watching that. a lot yeah. of wire, man. It's so easy, it looks like. <laughs> Not these people all connected to, to street people. Like, come on, it's that easy. <laughs> Tell you, it's just about that. bending the rules, Taz. You don't even <laughs> look at nothing. Just give me whatever card you had that, you know? And that pass Did, is going straight to you. I like you say you lost it. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't yeah. even have a car. What, what am I going to use it for? Oh, just order one. You know, I'll talk to you after the. Well, let's of talk of after. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you not try to have them pull this up and be like, "Yo, we heard you. Hello, we heard ma'am? you giving giving your your free parking pass. What's going on?" Yeah, but that's a golden ticket because, like, yo, like I parking people, in Toronto, people will kill each other for that. Yeah, it's like uh, a government pass. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Just slap it on your dash. I'm good. That'd be crazy. It's like being on a wheelchair. What? <laughs> That's true. The wheelchair passes. Oh, but the handicap parking yeah, yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's almost as elite as the park anywhere signal. Oh. Park anywhere signal. What's that? The four way. That's not park anywhere what? signal. <laughs> that is your park anywhere signal. That's your hazard signal to say like. <laughs> you yeah, you park anywhere. No, this that, that Yo, means you can like put going. that the hazard. <laughs> come on, you know this. It's a known thing. You put your hazard signals on and you park anywhere. This is how he got into a car accident. <laughs> yo, bro, you can't do that. Because, like, if you, if you put on your four-ways, like... So, so you, yo, okay. If you go somewhere that says no parking Hold and you put on your four-way flashes, they're going to allow you? How did they know what's wrong with my car? <laughs> <laughs> not for real. I can't believe you guys are making me seem like I just made this it's up. True, though. No, bro, it's not called the... <laughs> the what's it called? The... Park anywhere. Signal. It is a park anywhere signal. You can literally put that on anywhere you want, and people just have to kind of allow it. How would they know? The only way you could fuck up is if the car turns the opposite way of oncoming traffic. Yeah. And that's the only way it gets questionable. But outside of that, as long as you're facing the way traffic is mm-hmm. going, you could literally stop anywhere and just put that on. I feel like you've thought this through but you've seen it no i've seen it but like you've seen it everywhere like you 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 see like oh why was traffic congested today oh happened to be somebody's car parked up in the middle of the road <laughs> it's not really parked it's, it's supposed to be park. something wrong with it something's wrong but i'm yeah. just saying you could put that on no but like the, like the like the hazard lights is supposed to just say like yo there's something wrong with the car and that's why it stopped here mm-hmm. but it's not like Yo, I'm gonna park. You, you can park and anywhere. And you can with this. technically do that. I think all Uber drivers do this. Yeah, when you park over. No, you pull uh, over and then like you turn on your hazard. Put on your park people. anywhere signal. Park anywhere. <laughs> all, anyways, I'm not saying it's literally park everywhere. I'm just saying yeah. how the disabled kind of the wheelchair thing kind of gives you that that kind of access to the mm-hmm. closest parking mm-hmm. unless somebody didn't get there before you. Or expected mothers. Pregnant. You, really? They could, they yeah. could park in that spot? No, there's like no, a, there's another, another spot. Oh, they expl- yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, yeah. they could do that? Yeah. But, you know, m- maybe they could. When I have my nieces with me sometimes, uh, whoever's the youngest one and they said their car seat, mm-hmm. fly right into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Could you imagine if they actually like watched who parked and came out of there? Like you are not a woman. I think the only time they really, <laughs> I think the only time they really do something is if like someone comes into the store and complains, like you know, yeah. Karen. If a Karen Ooh. comes through, yes. Excuse me. That'll be the new <laughs> one to watch. Eh? Yeah. You predicted something. Yo, because I'll be yo. Imagine being that person. The new, though. Ki- the, new the next video to come up one day mm-hmm. is a Karen complaining about. Somebody expecting mother's parking. Mother's parking. That'll be funny. Cause like, imagine being that person. Cause you be in the store, you're like, oh shit. Just looking side to side. Cause you're like, you're not trying to be that person. Cause like, one, you know you're wrong, and two, the Karen's not gonna let it go. No, no I try especially to hop out if the it's Nick. Fast, but then after I feel like, what? <laughs> especially if it's you that's coming out of the whip. What? Karen. If a Karen see you come out the whip in the expected mother spot. Well, what's gonna happen? Just she's gonna try to do bear cussing. <laughs> She might try to do what that, what that, uh, what that I'll other just, character I'll just did. laugh and then walk away. <laughs> These situations cannot, cannot phase me enough to pull like, my phone like, how do you know I'm recording. not an expecting mother? What if she tries to dash a punch at you? <laughs> like, like that, like that, uh, the woman in the States. Yo, fine. In that store. I will literally make a scene. I can see that. So you're just gonna scream. I'm like, dude, if she hits me, if I'm <laughs> falling on the floor, <laughs> scream and like... Uh, I'm not even gonna replicate it right now, but I'm literally on the on the floor, like taking a foul. Dash yeah. off your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find I can't that. see. But where's uh, yo? I'll turn into a real fucking. uh it's turn into uh, Velma, yo. Oh yeah, turn, turn into Velma. Like, oh, where's my glasses? <laughs> I can't see. Yo. Make sure your phone is on. You're recording. The no, whole thing. no recording. No? I just public. I want the public to see what happened. That's what I'm saying. I make a big scene, but. That was happening. Just walk away. You're braver than me. Still, I'll pull up my phone. Nah, phone don't do nothing. I mean, it do something, but yeah, like, you seen that, bro? The woman's going through an exorcism. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, that only works on some of them. Some of them just stand there, like, oh, yeah, keep recording me. <laughs> I lie. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. buddy, you think this is funny? Keep recording me, buddy. I don't give consent. Yeah. Nah, it's different still. Mm-hmm. It's actually so different, but Nick, you're better than me. I pull up my phone still. Yeah. I can't just walk away because I'll be like, this woman's You pull out the phone? Of course. Why? Because your phone is like, it's, it's, it's like kryptonite. It's like a shield? Yeah. It's like a kryptonite. A low key. Like, just yo, you, recording you how, the whole thing? You see how Superman acts? Superman, you put a rock in his face, he drops down to the ground. Put a phone to a Karen's face, but yeah. make sure the flash is on too. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> the she's flash melting. Is key. No, you see how they switch up though. They'll be like, oh, that's why I flipped the script. Put the lights on. <laughs> Whole Let's, new person comes on. Now you have to kind of defend why you're recording. Why, no, just why, why she's saying all this as soon as you start recording. Mm-hmm. So I could always flip, you know. I feel that. But when there's witnesses, I'd like the witnesses. Witnesses are different. The witnesses yeah. are the best way to go. Mm-hmm. That's why you make a big scene. It's like, oh my player. god, are you racist? <laughs> You call me the N word. You call me the N word. Oh, oh my goodness! My gosh. I'm what thinking back. And then after I'll fall, like I actually, do, <laughs> I actually go, I'll actually fall in and flop. lose my glasses and flop. Look what you pushed me too. Yo, are you kidding me? My nieces are crying. Yeah, I'll be like in front of the in front of my nieces. How this is insane. You. Yo, come on, man. You gotta learn how to play the system the way they play it. Mm. Mm, say mm. that again. We're learning. We're low key learning. We're learning how to adapt. You guys are doing really use well. it against them mm-hmm. sarcastically. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've, been, we've been doing our homework. You know, we've been doing our homework. Yeah, you just do the. Oh, I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Peep game. Sometimes you can probably fight fire with fire if you have a bigger, f- like, you flame? know, bigger flame. <laughs> a lie? We can record in 4K too and you got witnesses. <laughs> they got a lighter. We got a flamethrower. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 It's a game changer. We're taking over. Uh, what's the next thing we got here? Oh yeah, Spaceman. Oh wow, not Spaceman. Space, Space Man. Jams Two drop Friday. How yesterday. do you feel about that? I'm not gonna watch it. You're not gonna watch it? Why? Oh. Why not? Why am I doing watch the Space Jam Two? Space Jam Two. I haven't watched Space Jam One. You gotta watch Space Jam One. I've watched five movies. I think you could probably... Wait, hold on, what? (laughs) I, yeah, five movies. So you're uncultured? Very uncultured. (sighs) Five movies? I wish I could be like you. I'm not going to cap because I actually, I love movies a lot and Mm -hmm. I actually do feel like I've watched every good movie there is. I think I've watched 
some really great ones. And they're all the same genre, though. It's just like mafia. See, movies. I haven't really watched great movies. Okay. There's other genres out there. LA. Yeah, definitely. But that's why I said I wish I could be like you. And to, to that degree. I think my personality type is I think long term. So I gravitate towards shows. Like I want to Invest see the, the character develop and grow. Mm. I don't get that from a movie. Okay, okay, okay. A okay. movie is a quick dopamine hit. Mm. I think that's why I guess I appreciate movies that do a great job at character development in such a short time. Because mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I'll, you you made me a fan in a short amount of time. And that kind of plays into a good movie. But then mm. it is followed up by sequels. Uh, some, depending on what movies you're watching. Mm-hmm. But yeah, some. But I hear you with the whole development thing. Yeah. But uh, I won't, f- I won't fault you for that anymore. Now, at first mm-hmm. I thought you just didn't watch movies, but there's a kind of good excuse for it. So. What? <laughs> like that too. I just didn't grow up around movies. Mm. You know. Uh, that's sad. Yeah, it's sad. So. So like no Disney movies or nothing. Not really. Like we definitely. So you never had... watched Lion King. Probably did, like at school, you know? Mm. Did you watch Tarzan? Nah. So you've never watched none of the Harry Potters? Harry Potters I watched with my babysitter. Show it to her. Uh, what else? Hmm. I guess there's like... uh Never watched The Matrix? No. But I did watch the Joker movie. I, 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 I know. You yeah, yeah, no. no, no, no. I'm thinking back. I definitely mm. did. Because wow. I, I went with Daniel. So you lied. Do you at least watch The Dark Knight? <laughs> nope. I couldn't tell you what happened in it, but mm. I know it was playing in the gymnasium. Where? At school. Like they had it playing. Oh, in the daytime, you yeah. can't see shit. Mm. Okay. I feel you. But no, like I'm incredibly uncultured when Damn. it comes to movies and stuff. Damn. You gotta... But I got shows on lock. You watch Manifest? No, but I keep hearing about this. <laughs> no, I, I have, have shows, shows on lock. lock. No. <laughs> I have shows on lock, she said. Nah, I'm sorry, guys. I just finished... Don't, don't be sorry no. to me. You gotta be, be sorry, sorry to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's shit. Manifest? I don't know. It's, it's all right, but still, like, I thought I you like, watched... Andrew does, show. like, a lot of random shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll just like click grant. Like, if the trailer looks good, I'm like, let me give it a chance. Yeah. Is it about a plane ticket? And like. Nah. So, like, basically, what this show's about is um, there's these people that took a later flight mm-hmm. instead of taking like the original flight that they had from um, a plane trip from Jamaica. So, <clears throat> when they came back to them, it just felt like they went through like really bad turbulence. Right. But then for everyone else, it was actually like they were gone for five and a half years. So like, crazy. So they're just like, yo, like, what do you mean we've been gone for five years? Yo, we just, we just had bad turbulence and that was it. And so they went through time and space, basically. And basically, what they end up finding out is like, this is, this is not the first time it happened. It's happened before. Um, oh, so it's a movie about the Bermuda Triangle. And then they also have like these like callings in their heads mm. that like kind of like shows them like future sites and of certain things yeah so for them they all know when they're gonna die so yeah. now they're trying to figure out how can they avoid that oh so but they're that's trying impossible to play because they've probably already seen death and anything they do now is always gonna just come towards that the um, same result point. Well, that's what they're trying to figure out right now well i'm in season two episode 10 there's like three episodes left uh-huh so like we'll see like right now i know kurt he's one of uh the other loud pack guys he, um, I told him that I'm going to finish it, see how it is first, and then I'll let him know if it's good. Yeah. It's all right. Let me know. Yeah, it's it's a night show. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys have any, like, inkling on how you're going to die? Like, no. have you ever thought about that? <laughs> no. No? Like, you never think, like, mm, how I'm going to go out die? that way. No. Uh, aside from age, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, for me personally, like, I usually don't think too much about that. Yeah. Just because it's like, I feel like if you focus too much on, like, how you're going to die, like, you're not really going to enjoy life. True. You know, like, it's a little I, morbid. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's you know more. You funny? I always. It's trying to have all the answers, you know? 
You yeah. can't have all the answers for everything. I feel like I'm kind of like the opposite in a sense of like, it's like, yo, when I think I'm going to die, it's like I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Break that down. It's kind of like just being mentally prepared. To die. Make Not like to die, but like, damn. Like, what if I die? Yeah. Like, shit. I guess just having that thought of like the unknown, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, I I could get shot today. Yeah. Somebody might want to stab me for no reason. Mm -hmm. A car might just hit me for no Mm -hmm. fucking reason. Yeah. Yeah. I might fall asleep at the wheel and hit somebody. Mm -hmm. I die. Mm -hmm. But it's like when I feel like it's kind of weird to say it, but like when you when you, I feel like when I think about I might die. Yeah. That's when I don't die. Because, like, now I'm a, it's like, it's like a process of, like, all right, let me make sure that doesn't happen now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, like, subconsciously. But at times where, like, I'll be driving sometimes, and I'll be like, shit, it'd be crazy. If Something like a, happened yeah. right at this moment. Especially like, when you're driving by, like, by a truck or something, too. Yeah. Yo, like, you know what I start realizing I hate, even when I drive now? Mm-hmm. Is being at a, le- uh, being in the left lane at an intersection, like, uh, driving by an, inter- but driving by an intersection, sorry. Yeah. Because I'm so scared of, like, people who can't see mm. behind another, like, in front of, like, another car that's turning left. And then they're like, okay, no traffic is coming, so let me just go. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, I'm the yeah, person yeah. in the left lane that's probably going to feel that first. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, if I'm in the middle or right lane, I could probably see that coming and then just... They make... can see you at least and be like, oh, shoot, and just, like, avoid yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why I can't lie. I actually fuck with when the left lane has that big, white, empty part. So it oh, splits like up the island, tr- though, eh? yeah, it's like a paint island. So it yeah. splits mm-hmm. up the left turn from because yo, there's been a few times where some man's just made that judgment call like yo, I don't see no no traffic right now, and then even sometimes I can't even see who's in the left lane sometimes because I'm so far mm-hmm. off into the into the left that mm-hmm. I'm beside traffic that's also turning left. Yeah. So, yeah. That that's left what, turn's deadly, man. Like, it, like I don't care how experienced you are. Making that left turn is always bare anxiety because yeah, like, you never super. know. And Especially, like whoever like made that design of just like no like gap to really let you see past the other person, they they really messed up the whole infrastructure. I'm telling you, it's an inside job. You know, I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you, insurance was invented or taken by the mob. You see how the mob mm-hmm. used to fucking go through and extort man's you know, mm-hmm. protection. I'll this take and care that. of you. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what insurance. Did. Insurance said, yo. Look how these guys are making guap off of people. Uh, and then, boom. When did, when did insurance companies pop up? Mm. Uh, this is a question for out. Dre Day. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me search it up right now. Oh, yeah, you're an insurance man. You work for the <laughs> system. <laughs> Bro, you think I know? He is the system. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> sucked into I, just, it. I just know how to do my job, and that's it. <laughs> Actually, the history, I'm like, Bro, huh? When was insurance born? Born. Holy, oh, my screen's like cracked. Be- oh shoot, that's life insurance. Uh, Even that, just life insurance, insurance is interesting too. There was an attempt to start Canadian life. Da da da. 1830s. Life only started 1849. Let's see. Oh, it says well, like, 1760s. Insurance in the U.S. Damn. That's a long time ago. Well. The mob popularized that shit. <laughs> they like, monopolized that. Yeah, they made that a global thing, and the insurance companies said, you know, we have to do that too, man. And yeah. did it. Yeah. But I digress. And they're, and they're colluding with the government, you know? Because the government says the policy, the, what's it called? All the rules and stuff like that for it that yeah. they follow. Well, like, I think the first insurance kind of notion happen when you made a contract with like yourself and the government being like i'm going to pay taxes in exchange for a system that treats me fairly i have quotation marks up right now a lot <laughs> of the government should do happen in the west and the old western civilization was it i swear it was just a sheriff that used to just you know yeah i mean that's like when the fucking everybody was getting new to the to the americas man yeah the council 
I said, man, was like, like you know, we need a system in like, cause man used to get smoked back in the day just for cheating right? a game of cards. Are you dumb? And man be like, what? You cheated me? And he actually didn't even cheat. <laughs> yeah, he was already lost. And man just got killed. And it's like, man, it's off that, man, that just be liquor. like, literally wild west. Like, yo, you shot my boy, so it's a shootout thing now. Mm-hmm. Hello? And now this gang is beefing with this gang, and it's all that bullshit. And I then like after, when they walk away from each other and then they quickly turn around and it's like bang bang like imagine that whole like mindset of it's like yo man i'm really just gonna turn around and just let this guy have a free shot at me while i try shooting yes was that really a thing or is that just for movies probably just for movies i'm pretty sure man's added a little skill to it you know let me wait for this guy nah nah, there's definitely a historical element to it i think the historical element is just who can shoot the gun felt like whip out the gun and shoot accurately faster. Yeah, I don't think it's been a standoff like oh who. Nah, it stems from you know, like medieval times, reason, bro. Yeah. They medieval times. They on the horses and stuff like that. Let me see. Let me, let Yo, me. people used to like go into these duels. Like say, like you were charged for something. Mm-hmm. The legal system back then was like, yo, you go up against you, and whoever wins was innocent. <laughs> like God Fight protected you. For yeah. a reason, right? And I think that was just like the Midwestern version of it. It's like fight for your life yeah. and entertain us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'll bring. I've always said like low key. Are you thinking about gladiators right yeah, now? Yeah, I, I fucking wanna, love that. I low key <laughs> want us to bring back gladiators. It's kind of fucked though. It is, but like, yo, I feel like as like a like a civil like trial by death type shit. Yeah. Yeah, something like, like lions that. Lions against people. I mean, no, sorry, no, I mean I, like I uh, use animals, trial by combat. Well, I'll just like human fight human. <laughs> trial, trial by combat. You mean yeah. UFC? <laughs> nah, but this will be like as as I said, like this will be battles to the death. Yeah. Oh mm. man, gory. It'll be mad gory. Yo, ma- yo, that was entertainment back then. Now well, we like, have it's Netflix. Still, no, it's still entertainment now. It's still entertainment now. It's just, but like, no it's, one dies. No, you just knock a man out. Yeah. You know? It's a local concussion. It's yeah. hard to watch sometimes. I feel that would be cool for people who are, who are like, who are like convicted of like murder, That's like on death now, row. Now, now you have like somebody who's like full armored, going up against this dude who has like who's trying his best to survive, and if he survives, you get another day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get another like, day. What it is because it's like you're you're in, you're in endangerment. To like the society, I understand people. It's like you say, murder somebody, all right? Yeah. Now you're gonna get murdered in front of everybody. I like fuck would the, love fuck that. the electrical chair and lethal injection. Let me let, let's see that shit. Like, yeah, you're a menace. Like, yeah, let's grab. You're gonna see the whole world just watch you get. get but killed. the only thing that would really suck though is just like if someone's wrongly convicted. Yeah. that's just the worst part. And of that's why I said it has to be, be someone who, who's has like, to be someone you know. who's convicted of actual like murder. Like, like it has to be like legit evidence. It can't be tampered with or nothing. It has to be a 100% yes. murder. <laughs> no, but like, like how often does you can murder... Frame someone, you can frame someone for murder. How often does murder... How often do people get framed for murder? I don't know. I don't know. I guarantee numbers. it's not a lot. I'm pretty sure someone has those numbers for us. You could get framed for a lot of things, but murder is really hard to just get framed no for. No one on a drug charge. Yeah, yeah like, I just I said murder. Yeah, this is definitely, like, you are the worst of the worst. Like Murder! Yes. So, what if, so, you know how, like, they, they, they also sometimes charge the dealer if the other person overdoses off the stuff you give them? Oh. Would that also count as murder, even though it's not your fault? <sighs> just, oh, that's, just that's be- like, a different degree that's, of murder. Yeah. Hmm. It's like manslaughter. Like first, first degree murder is, like, a... Is intent. No, no, second degree is intent. So, what's first? I don't remember what first is, so... First degree is like, yo, you willingly wanted to kill a person. I thought first is like by accident. No. I think that's like that's manslaughter. Manslaughter. That's manslaughter. Manslaughter is when you kill somebody by accident. Like, like you while wanted driving. to hurt somebody, but you didn't intend to kill them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be first degree then? No. Actually. Because it might be. It might be. Because I remember I was confused. I took a look at law class in yeah, grade 11. But. Oh, first degree is the most serious. It's the most serious one. Yeah. When, uh, like, a murder is yeah, planned. Yeah, when it's planned. Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so what's. That's what I mean. Second? Third degree is when it's. I think third degree might be manslaughter okay no 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 voluntary manslaughter okay there's involuntary manslaughter not that serious then there's voluntary then there's third degree 
second ah, degree, third degree, first degree. Mm. What's third? I thought third was manslaughter. No, manslaughter is different. Damn, there's different levels to this. There's levels to this shit. That's why we're not lawyers, you know? We're just, uh, we hire people for that. The people. We're the people. But, no, I don't know. There would, there would have to be di- different levels to it. It has to be something, Ooh. like, intense. Voluntary manslaughter is cool. It's a crime of passion. Like, if you see a shorty getting it in, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just, like, in rage. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Did you kill her? Oh, I was thinking about, like, killing the guy. Oh. Oh? Damn. You went oh, straight oh, for oh, your oh. shorty? OJ. <laughs> oh. No. But, like, I thought that's what it meant. So, like, okay, so, because I was going to say, yeah. doesn't that mean that... Hmm. Like a crime pattern. Because that, be, that could be looked at as, like, maybe... S- what, second degree? Uh, intentional murder with malice. Mm. That could be, that, that but could not be look- premeditated or planned. That's what I'm saying. That could be looked at as second degree murder. Yes. If you if you kill like your your spouse who is cheating, but if you kill the guy out of pure rage, that's probably third. Oh, okay. I think it comes down to like how serious it is. Like a bar fight that results in death. Uh-huh. Mm, so I guess like by accident, like you you just beat the guy up and he falls and hits his head. Well, I'm no lawyer, so. Hello. If you're a good lawyer, just hit us up. So, one, we got you in our back pocket. And two, you know, you can educate us. Yeah. You need a good mechanic and a good I'm lawyer. I'm going to educate you. Yeah. You're going to tell you go to school. Like, this is how they did this. Yeah, so much- educate us so then we know. So, when we're, in, to situ- get if we're in a situation. Because, you know, if the gladiators, yeah. this stuff come back, <laughs> we, don't, we know how to avoid it. Because <laughs> it would only be, I guess it would only be first degree because it would be planned. Mm-hmm. So if you're planning to kill people, then I guess yeah. like yeah, we'll we'll, th- we'll throw you in the in the coliseum. Yes, that's what I mean. Like, it, there's a lot of people who do first degree murder, mm-hmm. especially in America. Mm-hmm. Hello. So I think you could have a a cool show like how they had like the battle robots. Yeah. I just wonder how it would like pass like the FCC. You know, it'd be a pay per view thing. <laughs> It actually be a pay per view too. <laughs> Thinking about them, like, but yo, who would be going up against these guys? <clears throat> Other murderers. But no, I, mm, that could be cool. That could be cool. But how about like family members of people no, who are no, like? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's too dark. Yeah, that's, not even. That's, <laughs> that's way too. Because yeah, once that guy loses. Oh, like, true. I didn't like think about that. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, no, my bad. I wasn't thinking that through. Like, it has to be like a like an executioner of some sort. Nah, some sort. I, I, would, I wouldn't want it to be an executioner. I want them to at least have a chance to fight. You know, like fight so another person. prisoners on prisoners fight? Yeah. That's weird. What do you mean? It's a gladiator thing. Yeah. No. It's not going to be like no, like, no got, guns or nothing. I'm sure that that guy's going to still, like, get punished. Yeah. Weapons or no weapons? No, there's weapons. There's weapons. Okay. Because, like, you know, you don't want to make it just, like, fist on, like, yeah. people just fighting each other. Yeah. That, that's too barbaric. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you just got to end people. This is really taking me back to playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. They have that in there? Yeah. They have, like, a like a battle royale thing. There's, like, oh, levels. Oh, that's in Rome. Odyssey is set in Rome no, or something. No, no, it's in Greece. Mm. Athens and stuff. Is that where... Rome is in Italy. Oh, oops. I'm so chopped. <laughs> uh-huh. Don't worry, I wouldn't even know that. I, I'm yeah, worse than my geography. Greece. Yeah. Them times the... Like mm. in God of War. Yeah, you have them in there. I forgot what it was called, the carriage. Where they'll be running or going around the Coliseum, trying to fight each other and stuff. In a carriage? Yeah. That's cool. Like, I think the, the Greek gods used to fight that way. And, like, Egyptians. I probably. think that yeah. used to be a sport. Yeah, it was a sport. That's what it was. Chariots. Yeah, the chariot fights. Yeah, chariot. So, yo, we gotta bring some of these things yeah, back. Yeah, yo, they yeah. knew what entertainment was about. Uh, level us up as a society, as we I were mean, talking they about. They gave us democracy. Yeah, facts. So there's that. It's the same thing we were talking about outside earlier when we we're saying like if a meteor were to hit Earth, we're like, where's the shield? We got no shield. No shield. We just gotta hug it. I don't get it. What's the correlation? Correlation is what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we got to get back to our roots so we can figure out the future. There was no shield to begin with. We had no shield to begin with. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what we're about to make different. Okay, bro. Yeah. All right. 
We're gonna have Coliseum where we're gonna have proper democracy down here, and then we're gonna have a shield if like yo, we're not yo, gonna be wiped out as easy. Not. Nah, I think we shouldn't even fight it. If if the asteroid comes to us, just let it be. Nah. I mean, that's all that can happen. No, nah, we need like nah, we yo, need shields and so like. Oh. You know, it's funny. This is probably just a high thought, <laughs> but like. This is something I was thinking about when we were outside and we were talking about it. <laughs> so I was like, yo, like, how come we don't have superheroes yet? Yo, I've thought about that multiple times. Because, like, yo, we have all these stuff. And, like... The I, body can't handle it, man. Yo, there must be a way for a man to figure out to, for the body to handle it. Like, you have to put the body yes. to a certain physical peak level. And then it can handle it. Because, yo, there's Don't people who have, like, the soon. prosthetics... Mm -hmm. What if you made one, like two, that like run for you, you know? No, no, no. We need if we're if we're, if we're having superheroes, it has to be like a human, human, because like I feel like the, natural. It can't be. It can't be. Bionic it can't be, or it can't be uh, No, it's gonna be bionic. Made. We're going to add things to ourselves to give us those superpowers. No, but then like a, like a really good EMP could come true and just like you know knock us out. <laughs> so you know like we, not if you're strong enough. Well, you wouldn't be because, like, you're still going to be electrical. But I feel like like we need something where, like, we enhance the, the human body like, to, like... Through DNA? Like, yeah. DNA gene manipulation editing. or something. Yeah. Got a lot of stocks in that. We can invest in that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about that after. <laughs> but, no, like, I feel like... I honestly feel like, like I'm surprised, like, we don't have that going around. Like, we can just dash a man and just be like, yo... Go deal with that. Yeah. But then, then from there, it puts us in, like, a different, like, galaxy level. And I feel like there's, like, a... Well, this is, like, Rick and Morty coming out. But, yeah, basically, I feel like there's, like, a council of, like, galaxies and everything. We're, like, you know, we're just not at that level yet, so they don't really mess with us. So they just, like, throw little things there to to make us freak out. <laughs> like an asteroid? No, no, like, little, like, UFOs. It's, like, yeah, let's just, like, you know, send a UFO there. Everyone's yeah. going to freak out for, like, months. Mm, let's see how they react to it. Yeah. We're just like little guinea pigs right now. Yeah. But we need we need superheroes. Well, superhumans. What would you want your power to be? I got more oh, than she's one. She's taking it back to... Uh, like, to, high... Uh, <laughs> when, when were we talking about the... Uh, you guys um, talked about that? When we got our superpowers? Yeah. It was... Uh, I forgot. December 15th? Just, was it December 15th? I remember what day. It was the 15th of some month. It probably even <laughs> wasn't the 15th. <clears throat> But uh, black people got our powers already. Mm -hmm. So, what oh. do you want your power to be? <laughs> Man, what are some powers? Like, like stop flight. time, flight. Flight would be cool just to avoid airfare. Control, like, oh, magnets. No, not magnets. Uh, magneto. Magnet. Yeah, magnets. Magneto. Wow, I'm child. In middle. Metal, yeah. <laughs> magnets. <laughs> control magnets only. <laughs> yo, you, yo, controlling magnets is a big thing. Because you know how it's always pointing north? You can change the different opposites, yo. <laughs> There's not a lot of merit to that, but... <laughs> uh, so what would your power be? I think, like, day-to-day, -day, what would be helpful is reading people's minds. Oh, like being psychic. Yeah. I feel like you would I feel always like you be a step a, ahead. I feel like you gotta put like a like a handicap on yourself. So <laughs> nah, what? I already told you guys <laughs> I'm not putting no handicap on myself. Then there's no point because now I want to just have the the ability to pitch frequencies, and I I just pitch the frequency high all the time, and burst people's eardrums. Oh, that's kind of so fucked. Do that. No, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. That's like God level. You gotta have some form of like. Someone will find a way to like beat you. I want to be. I want to be the target where people are trying to. I'm trying to be that benchmark. You know how like in My Hero, there's a uh, All Might. I'm trying to be that guy. Who's but at the same time, I don't. I don't want to be the fame. But uh, All Might's a, a number one hero in one of the animes that we watch. Or Nick Reed's also. True. I stopped. How about One Punch Man? I love that. I only watched the first season. First though. season was the funniest. I didn't watch the second because it took so long to come up with the second one. Mm -hmm. But the first one, that was the only anime that actually had me like genuinely laughing out loud. <laughs> That's why you got to watch The Way of the House Husband. No, I'm not watching that. I'm telling you, that one will have you laughing. 
I need to actually watch it. They'll have you laughing, I'm telling you. But Nick, Nick wants to stay uncultured to, for the good stuff. Mm-hmm. What do you like, Nick? Death Note? I, I'm actually not a big anime head. Mm. I, I, only, yeah. I only watch the animes that are like, that have fighting and shit, or like cult classics. Is there one called like Doctor or Monster? Yeah. Monster. About the surgeon? Yeah, I watched a bit yeah. of that one, but I stopped because it got so boring. Yeah. The episodes are like 20 minutes, but bro, they feel like it's like... Oh, that's not good. Like 40 minutes. Like they feel way too long. Like way too long. But it's interesting. It's just that he takes forever to kill this kid. <laughs> like honestly, it takes way, t- way too long. Dragged it out. Dragged it out way too long. I yeah. thought he was going to murk him in like episode 20. And I was like, yo, this Episode is 20? Yeah. But then the guy slipped away. It's fucked. So it's like, how do you lose him, bro? Have you guys watched Kakeguri? You watch Animus? I just watched that one. Good anime. I don't really it's know. a good one, right? Yeah. But yo, people clown me for that one. Nah, it's a good one. It's just funny because like it's like he watches everyone. Yeah. No, nah, I don't watch everyone. But it's just that it's border. It's almost like at the hentai level. Yeah. You're like you're like basically yes. like two levels away from hentai. Yeah, because I mean she's getting turned you? on no, by. I'm it. talking about like basically like. There's levels to get to, like, anime hentai. Yeah. So there's, like, hentai. There's, like, high school DXD that's, like, just under hentai. What does that mean? So hentai is, is just anime porn. Yes. Yeah. So, so the, you're two steps under it? No, I'm, I watched this one anime that's, like, one step under hentai. It's a good storyline, but it's just one step under hentai. So where are you in terms of... I'm just right here. The one level away from hentai. Where so am you're I? You're not at two. You're at one. What? No, yeah, I'm like one level ahead of Taz. Taz you right now. Not it's not that freaky though. Yeah, it's just like category it's, isn't too bad. It's just more of like it. It just intensifies like everything more exagger yeah. like they exaggerate it. So yeah. like, um, even another anime called Food Wars, where like the woman like will eat the food, and then like air will blow up, and then like her like her skirt like blows up, but like she's wearing panties and. And then, like, her breasts are, like, jumping all over the place. And, <laughs> She's doing the most. And it's, like, <laughs> and it's like yo, <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be It, like it doesn't this, have to be like but that. But, like, I get it. Yeah. But I remember I was watching on the plane one time when I was going on a family trip. And I was, and my cousin was, like, yo, <laughs> why are you just watching it like this? And I'm, like, yo, dude, like, I'm not watching porn. Like, <laughs> I'm watching anime. That's true. Do you think hentai is, like, the Japanese government's propaganda to get the birth rates up? What? I don't think so. I think they're even against that. Yeah. No, I think you think about China, bud. No, I think even China, in Japan. Uh, no, China had the one. Japan bans child like policy. any form of porn. Right, but Japan also has a bigger problem, which is no one is having sex. Is it really? Yeah, they're That's having a population crisis. They're That's having crazy. a population crisis? Crisis. Is it just that they have too much men? Too many men that don't want to have sex. Like they're loving just being online and all like the not stuff and all the octopus yeah. weird stuff. Like, oh, that's why I said they ban like they ban like they have a ban on that type of shit. Probably of to reason. get guys to actually interact with humans. That, yeah, that's a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine when they start coming up with like those like sex robots like in Futurama. Yeah. Wait, that's so funny that they're having that problem. But then I swear, one of the problems. Right now, like in terms of humans, is that we're having too many, many people. People. Mm. I think there's certain places. Certain places. Well, yeah. that plays into the whole like population of the Earth, because mm-hmm. you could only, at a certain point, take so many humans. Yeah. Before you know, <clears throat> demands and shit start going up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I mean, like things just start getting out of control. So we'll just let Japan die out. No, I'm no, just we saying, need, like, it's funny that they're saying... Japan. <laughs> it's, I'm just saying, it's funny how they're saying, like, they have a popu- they're having a population crisis. Because mm-hmm. that, to me, now s- says, that, like, oh, they expect a certain amount of people to be being born mm-hmm. per year. But that they're not meeting that, yeah. that, that number. Yeah, mm-hmm. not enough babies are being born. There's so other like, places. Is that for everybody? Not really. No. I think it's just, like, their per- like their own population. Yeah. And in Europe, there is a bit of a population crisis and there's incentives. Like, like they're saying, okay, so the population crisis in Europe, is that like a, they want it to decrease? 
they want it to increase. So they'll give you a bit. Europe? Yeah, they'll give you a bit of money. Mm. Yeah, because if even if you see that there's a lot of people in Europe right now, you're not thinking about the next generation. Mm. You're seeing like, oh, ton of people. But like the boomers. Yeah, yeah, but you're not looking at, okay, but these young folks, are boomers. they having children? All, no, but I'm just saying like as an example. But there's a lot of boomers no, in there's Europe. A lot of, huh? There's a lot of boomers in Europe. Yeah, but I'm just saying at the same time, there's still like enough adults and stuff. For but the- are they trying to have children? Is the question. I know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I swear that's that was like the one of the one of the issues that like what, what do you call them? I forgot. But the people who look at that type of shit, like who look at like the like the Earth in the future and everything, like they they just say like that's not a geologist, is it? Futurist? No, I forgot. Anthropology? I forgot. No, I forgot <laughs> the word. But there's people that basically study that shit, and they're like, yo, like. A certain amount of humans is like it becomes like too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the incentive is kind of better to kind of like mm-hmm. not have children for right now, considering how. how for much the world, yes. Like it's better to keep population down, but we're all very narcissistic and we want to see. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, it's kind of like it's just it's just kind of backwards because yeah. countries are saying that they're they're not getting enough people, but then. They're recommending. You know what it is? It's like the poor yeah. versus the wealthy. I think it's a pride thing. Like wealthy think, countries no, think, aren't I think, seeing I think people. a lot of these fucking countries just don't want to see their country disappear. Yes. It yeah. comes okay. down to that, like ego. They want to have like the strongest like population, basically. Nationalism. To be like, yo, we got 50 mil. I so I don't know about you guys. for a country you're just born in, you know? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Just standing up for something that like, you know? you don't believe in or something you don't understand no you just came into it mm. so now you're just like i'm gonna ride for this place yeah that's probably you you've know. never even been anywhere else yeah but that's mm-hmm. all you know you know and that's how i find it funny that's wild <laughs> how's that wild? i think it's easier to fight for something if you're being attacked or if you feel like you're being attacked yeah, yeah. You know? like the little propaganda behind yeah. it to make you feel like the fear yeah, to be like, oh, they're coming to your home to take it. Mm-hmm. And they can be like, no, nah, I got to offend that. Yeah. That's not good. It's not good. No, it's not good. It's like but manipulation. It's... Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I don't... Because, like, like, people are more willing to fight when they feel like it's a, a, like it's on their own free will, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, if someone feels like, yo, I'm, I'm being drafted, you're not really trying to fight because you're like, I'm just, I just want to survive and that's it. Mm-hmm. But, like... When they feed you, when they feed you that information to make you feel like, yo, these people are coming to hurt you, you're gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna do everything in my power to be like, yo, I'm gonna innovate something that to basically protect everyone. Mm-hmm. But that's the vibes. <laughs> Bear vibes. Bear vibes. Yo, is this in your hot or is it just me? I think that just might be you. I'm burning up. Are you wearing, you wearing under anything under that? Uh, just a t-shirt. Take it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that's only for when video comes out. Uh, did you only know fans. that Canada Goose will be, uh, will be, uh, ending their fur use by the end of 2022? So this made me, uh, actually not, do you guys know about it? One. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Cool. How do you explain that? So. Do you think that... Wait, are you going out to get water? No, I'm going to the ECM. Shit, all right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, do you think Canada Goose Jackets might go up in price? Without fur? Like, uh, isn't I mean, the price what, like, high because of the materials they use? Like, the down and then the fur trim around the hood? Yeah, like, do you think those, like, these older jackets are going to go up in Ooh. price? Because, like, now, like... I feel like people look at Canada Goose as, like, luxury, so they're going to kind of be like, oh, like, yeah, they're never making this again, so. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Press that one time. I like he boosted their sales. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, how do you feel? Do you think? I feel like some people will do that. Probably. Depending on, like, their top kind of, like, model coat for that yeah. season or whatever. But like, is Canada Goose popping? Like, are people wearing Canada Goose? Of course. Canada Goose is so popping. So popping. That might go up, like, 2x in price. 
two times the price. If it's actual, like fur, fur, but it is down, all the, yeah, all like all the actually, previous shit. Yeah, like it's just now they're saying like by the end of twenty twenty two they're gonna be they're gonna be done using animal stuff. But is anyone going to buy Canada goose going? Of course, I'm even just saying, if it's not real fur, and okay, and they keep their prices the same. I feel like their prices. Hmm, I see. And that's all. Kind of, I want to like get into. Like, I, I think like, they need to bring down the prices because you're paying for. Okay, yes, we're paying for the brand. And but that's what makes because the materials. But nothing in my mind tells me that they're gonna like downgrade in material. They're probably gonna find some way to like, like you know, not have to. It's just another alternative, right? But then I just feel like. It, it really all depends, like how popular. I don't think Canada Goose is that popular for people to be scoring up their jackets high. But mm-hmm. the fact that they kind of like have, like they're gonna stop using certain materials. In my head, I just wonder, like, will people like you know make the price go up considering that like, like yo, this is like a last of Canada Canada Goose's like animal fur jacket yeah it's, it's kind of like who else is big for using animal fur who knows this is just let's just say somebody else who's big and known for animal fur kind of just says yeah we're done we're gonna like use a different fur mm-hmm. like you know yeah. people will probably be like oh like yo this sorry so whoever has these last pair of jackets or whatever like we could probably f- they probably hold on to them and make them go up in price considering that you're never going to get something with real fur again. Yeah. Mm. But if you look at, like, the new versions that they'll make and the old versions, would you be able to tell? Um, Unless you, like, touch it. I haven't seen anything yet. I think they just yeah. got to release it when they're ready. And I think when they release their first non-animal fur thing, I think they'll make a big deal out of it. Because mm-hmm. they said they want to have a carbon footprint of zero i think by 2035 okay so this whole no fur thing by the end of january i mean sorry by the end of 2022 is just like a first step for them so it makes me interested into like figuring out like i wonder what it'll do differently to kind of like combat that Mm -hmm. because now it just piques my interest in thinking like what new technology is going to be like kind of like the new norm now yeah Mm -hmm. to keeping you warm yeah, cause like, like we all know, jackets. A lot of jackets have like, like some form of like feather or down or mm-hmm. cotton or something. And now that they're finding reusable ways to kind of keep you just as warm, like small like thermal things to, to <laughs> keep in heat and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Who knows what it yeah. is? But if they got a way to do it, I'm curious as to see how they do it. Cause now, that just means that, over time, that's just gonna become like a super common thing, and mm-hmm. then. And winter jackets should be coming down in price. No, I don't know about that. I, and that, like I think I think that until up. it becomes common, like like jackets at Payless or you're even using that technology mm-hmm. or whatever, I think that's when it'll come down in price. But any new technology that comes out and starts benefiting people always comes out of price. Yeah, I think it's that quick. I remember how expensive it used to be to it's get like, like those USB mittens. Card. That and like you remember when you used to get like how you can get mittens where you can touch your phone? Oh, the touch screen. Yeah, yeah. I remember when they first came out, those those used to be mad expensive. Mm-hmm. And then like later in life, now you can buy it at the dollar store. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, the dollar store has it, like Yeah. And that's just a small form of like technology. So mm-hmm. I feel like over time it'll probably get like cheaper. Or like sustainable but, like, clothing, like Patagonia. Like, like alright, say for instance, on the on the you know what, this is a cool segue too. But like how Richard Branson now, like just introduced. Uh, okay, so he flew in space. He got his own the Virgin Mobile rocket plane to fly, like just over the ozone layer. Mm-hmm. So you're technically in space. Um, now after him doing that, it's quote unquote easier now for you to kind of get on board because now he's offering like, I think like. I think, like, you and somebody else. I don't know how much people allowed, but it's you and somebody else allowed to win a seat 
onto that plane ride. So, you, and over time, that's only just gonna keep getting easier and easier mm-hmm. and easier because like innovation stuff like that. You know exactly, and then more and more people might be incentivized to do it and all that shit. So, needless to say, I am interested to see where it goes. Are you trying um, to go to space? What, space? Mm-hmm. I guess it would be cool, but I don't think... <laughs> like, what's your price for space? Like, how much would you be down to pay? Right I think now? they got a price on it right now. I where, know. like, if you were to take the balloon into space... Oh, I don't want to be in a balloon. I don't think you go in a balloon. No, it's like a balloon type thing where it's like you float up to space and then you spend float a couple hours up there and then they pull you back down. I think it's like you probably go up to, like, the very thinnest of the atmosphere before you get fucked up. Yeah, I'd like but, to go uh, in a like a rocket ship though. I think I'd prefer to be in like a space hotel. Ooh, mm. like I think I heard some shit. I think they, I think they're l- some Futurama stuff right I, there. I could I space could be quoted wrong, though. but like I think they're trying to turn the ISS into some form of like hotel in the future because um that would be cool because they're they're trying to like get a new space station up. Mm-hmm. I forgot mm. what it's called, but they're trying to like retire the ISS. And I think they want to flip it into like a into like a hotel. Like a tourist attraction type of thing. So you could really be in I forgot how fast that thing travels around the world, but you could you know, for a few days or whatever, you could be in space for yeah. a week. Fifty probably actually like, probably probably like a hundred K to do that. Yeah. Probably even less. Because um you probably spend a lot less time up there because your body gets like starts adapting to like zero G and shit. And mm-hmm. when you come back, your body gets fucked up from the gravity on Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, said, I don't think they'd want people to like do that forever or for like a week at least. Mm-hmm. But I think I think that would be like the only way I'd probably be interested in like going to space mm-hmm. is if I got to stay out there for a bit. I experience like actual zero gravity and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like when I wake up. And look out, and I'm like, oh, wow. I'm on, I'm on this side of <laughs> Earth now. I'm in Africa. I'm flown over Africa. The light? Because you know, you're never gonna be ba- you're not going to be basing your life off of, like, light at that point. It's more of, like... When you just wake up. It's just, like, time and stuff. It's like, oh, it's this time. All right. Yeah, like, you wake up, and then you'll be floating over, like, who knows, North America when all the lights are off. So I look litty. Like, my phone, it updates me every time... At a certain time, for it. late at nights now, just based off of like I guess the axis of the Earth, mm-hmm. but it'll keep messaging me every time the ISS flies over, like where I'm at. You're mm-hmm. a true spaceman. I'm just interested in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It just it'd be like wherever I'm at, it'd be like ISS is about to fly over you, and you're like, oh, okay. Cool. Have you ever looked up and seen anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to track if you don't have like a a telescope like, kind of. Is it a like a light? It 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 would show up as a light if looking at it because of the light refracting off of it, but on a telescope you could you could see it. It's pretty funny. It just zips right by. Do you have a telescope? No, I wish, but I go on Reddit and I just watch people like record it. Yeah, I can just imagine like trying to track that with your own. You have to get like a real good telescope for that. Yeah. Um, I think it's hard to track because like. You gotta like that thing's moving so fast, and that magnification, like to keep up with it, it's like you'll lose it pretty fast. Yeah. Like you kind of, you kind of, kind of, you kind of just gotta like watch it fly by. So basically, you gotta be like one of those guys that have like the big giant telescopes, to lie. Mm-hmm. like the ones where it's like a hub, where if you actually really want to track it properly, kind of yeah. Yeah, because I know with my Apple Watch, uh, one of the settings, it actually shows, like, you can scroll through, like, the Earth to kind of see, like, how certain things look. Well, their perception of, like, how things look on, like, that side of the world of, like, lights and stuff like that when it's nighttime. Very cool. Yeah, but that can also just be them just finessing me, being like, yo, we're going to make it seem like you're a lot smarter than you actually are, but realistically, (laughs) we just, you know, made this up. Yeah. Yeah. But... I don't know, space space is interesting. There's a lot of stuff out there. The space hotel thing is interesting. Um I don't know. I'd wanna be it's I would wanna be in space for like a month if I can. 
if they allow me. I feel like people w- wouldn't enjoy that. Like being on a plane for 16 hours fucks me up. To be yeah, in space. Space would be different. You still have like the access of like everything you want to use. I'm pretty sure you can still use like internet. But also you're like floating. Yeah, that's wicked. I guess. Like, you know, mm. I, I've been walking on ground for like 27 years now. That's true. So, you know, I'm I think. I'm looking at the sun, sir. What is this? It'll be wicked. Oh, wow. That's why it's just like flying by it. And he's just right by the sun? I no, like not by the sun, but somebody was like looking at the sun. Is and this then, even mm-hmm. real? You see, yeah, the, you see somebody like the yeah. whole the person what they use and everything just to it's make crazy. that whole animation go. Sun through. looks hella yellow. A lie. Yeah. But nah, there's a lot of stuff to do. You know, I feel like for a month there, there's a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of stuff you can learn. But you'd be looking outside the whole time. Yeah, that wouldn't get old. Yeah. You probably just have, like, a bunch of playlists. It's like, this is what I want to do in space. Listen to this while I'm in space. Dark side of the moon. I wonder how... That'd be cool. Yeah. What's on the dark side of the moon? Nothing. Just cold. Oh. Just colder than the other other side of the moon? Because the... Fun fact, the moon is tidally locked to the Earth. Meaning that it cannot... <clears throat> it doesn't rotate. It only It only stays in one place as the Earth... <laughs> rotates ah. so so the only reason you see the crescent or a certain light up is because the earth is spinning not the moon mm-hmm. so wherever we are for within that time of our rotation like some but also nights, the sun yeah so it's like where wherever we're positioned say like today or whatever mm-hmm. we might be just be seeing the back of the moon mm-hmm. not the not the part that's lit but that the moon is always going to be staying in that same position every time the earth spins. So I guess, like, there was this thing I saw online. So like, that's is, that's is the, the reason why I'm, I'm kind of asking about this. It's just, um, there's this thing that they're saying, like, I guess they're saying the moon's coming closer to the earth than it's supposed to be. Uh. And the, apparently it's effect, it's going to start affecting, like, tides on like yeah like how it is like with, within the earth and everything so that's kind of why i wanted to be like let me let me try fact check this thing right quick because i don't know, i don't even i want to do my own <laughs> research so i'm like let me just ask nick i, I don't i personally never seen nothing like it but if that is the thing then mm-hmm. yeah the moon uh can uh, greatly affect tides and water and shit mm-hmm. because the moon <sighs> oh, sorry the moon in itself has enough gravity, right? So its gravity would kind of start working up on uh, on us to a certain degree. I have to look it up more, but... The it's almost like, I guess, like two magnets like going against each other. It, it kind of is. Kind of yeah. is. Um, yeah. I forgot how... Ex- I forgot the exact reason why... Um, the moon affects like water and shit. Mm-hmm. I think it's just because it's like the gravitational pull. Well, like aside from that, like why only water? Actually, I mean no, I forgot because it's probably like, the lightest molecule it can move mm-hmm. outside of air. But air, you won't probably like feel it. Yeah. But water is probably the most visible sign of it. Huh, that probably does make sense because like at nighttime. Tides get more stronger and shit because mm-hmm. the moon is right above it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, boom! We just solved the answer. So All yes, right, we just solved the answer right there. Yes, wow. water would be more affected by the moon mm-hmm. just because of how closer it is getting to the Earth um, every time. So more extreme tides. I just don't know how would it affect anything else outside of water, though. I guess it's places that are nearby water, cause like, like the only. Cause I'm thinking, like, what about like a Ooh. mountain and shit? Like, mm-hmm. would it get cr- crushed or just? Nah, but like a mountain's like I feel like more dense for and it to get affected like that, like by water. Or like I mean, coastlines to... would be affected. Yeah, like yeah. that's that's kind of why like there, there's like some people are saying. Well, coastlines would get affected just because of the water. Yeah, because yeah. the water would erode like. Rock if you're and below everything. sea level, like mm-hmm. you would just get flooded all the time. Yeah, yeah. Basically, Florida. Florida. Yeah, that's why they say Florida's gonna get well outside of land masses just sinking. But yeah, Bang water, ra- the 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 
the poles are melting and shit, water mm-hmm. rising, and Florida's soon going to be gone. 30 years. Yep. That's the guess for it. So you remember That's how you're crazy. asking about death yeah. dates? It's the death date right there. Fuck. Even like for the, Florida, uh, man. <laughs> Florida, man, you got 30 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even in the... Uh, in Dubai, the uh, island, the island, uh, the island cities mm-hmm. or towns, they're getting washed up because the water keeps eating at the sand. Crazy. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't be surprised if like the water, water rising is also factored up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Rising water levels, y'all. Yeah. Like, it's interesting because like I, I remember I was having this conversation with my mom the other day. And, like, I was telling her, I'm like, yo, it's going to be crazy that, like, in the next 20 years or so, there's going to be certain places that, like, we grew up seeing is just going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Like, like what? Well, Miami, well, for Florida, for yeah. example, you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be a point in time where we're just going to be like, damn, there's no more Florida. Disney World. And then, what like, is that? Yeah. Well, no. They'll just move Disney World to probably somewhere else. Somewhere else popping. Atlanta. Yo, Disney World and Atlanta will be wild. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. This new one in Atlanta, it would actually turn like hip hop. Mm-hmm. It would actually change everything. Everything would be more cultured. Yes. You know what? Bring Disney to hip hop. I mean, to, to Atlanta. Yeah. Bring Disney to hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I think they did plenty of times. <laughs> Bring Disney to Atlanta. That, that'll, that'll make the full transition. Yeah. But, um,. Damn, I forgot what we were saying before. Florida. Places Florida. that you grew up seeing. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, it's going to be gone yeah. eventually. But, like, I In guess 30 it's... years when I'm 50, it'll be gone. That's crazy. Yeah. We're, like, 57. I'm like, oh, I remember when I went to Florida. A <laughs> lie? Like, the next generation will be like, yo, like, eventually they're going to be like, what's Florida? What's spring break in Florida? That's kind of wild. And speaking of Florida... This is actually a funny thing I actually wanted to bring up was uh, <laughs> it was basically a Florida man was arrested for throwing an alligator at the roof oh, off the that. roof of a cocktail bar. Oh, te- trying to teach it a lesson or some shit. Sorry, yeah. what? <laughs> uh, yeah, yo, Florida's crazy. It's definitely something in the water over there. Um, actually, something in the water because that's where bath where, where mans were taking baths. So that's where it started, though, right? Yes. I think so. I think I remember the first case about hearing it was in Florida, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Man's in Florida just different. Somebody tell them we got zombies out in Miami Beach. Do you guys know the birthday challenge? What's oh, that? for Florida? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what Florida man did on your birthday? No. Yeah, so if you type in on Google Florida man and your birth date, okay, let's you'll do find you. something. When's your birthday? January 29th. You need my year? No. Um, That's you need a the Florida year. man was sentenced to 10 days in jail and moral recognition therapy on Monday as punishment for attacking a worker dressed in a minion character <laughs> in Daytona Beach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Looking up what Florida people did on your birthday. Bro, it's great. I, even, even if you type in the year, you'll still find that's something. That's crazy. Dre Day, how about you? July 13. Florida man seen <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god, Florida man with no arms charged with stabbing Chicago tourist. This is foot. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> this guy is so mad he stabbed him with his foot or something. Uh, Florida man also allegedly stole pool floats from homes to stop himself from raping women. <laughs> I don't what? know what the correlation is. Uh, unless you think he was uh doing things with the pool floats. Yo, that's actually crazy. Yo, I'm telling you, f- people in Florida are just different. They're different. People in Florida are just weird. Like, there's something in the water. Maybe that's why they're about to get engulfed by water. They, j- It's just natural dissemination of a population because the universe just can't handle it. You think that's the thing? I think the universe finds ways to balance itself out. But do you think, like, getting rid of Florida is really going to balance anything? It might make the world less chaotic. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel it like now that like that chaotic that was there is just gonna travel over to a more another like, place. place, like more central, closer to us. Yeah, like it's gonna travel. Like you know, crazy doesn't just yeah. like go away. It'll go up to New Orleans. <sighs> yo, <laughs> they're almost there. Yo, New Orleans. Yo, when I heard about New Orleans, how like the only thing that's really popping in New Orleans is just this one strip, which they kind of says the same thing with like Miami. It's just that yeah. one strip. Yeah. And then everywhere else is just poverty, and I'm like, damn, bro. 
They also That's, got hit by Katrina. Yeah, could, yeah, they're still recovering off yeah. of that to this day. Yeah. Other than the football team, the football team's still striving. Shout out to the Saints. Yeah. But that's all they got. We love the Saints. I don't love the Saints. Yo, stop I'm a Tampa. It. I'm a Tampa fan. We won the Super Bowl. Fuck the Buccaneers. You, you already know you don't mean that. I mean it. Mm-mm. Listen, I was hoping for big things for the Saints and um, Brady. Hey What's uh, it called? The Saints quarterback was a racist. Races don't win championships. He's a good man. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> he got one. He got one. He's done. Oh, nine. Yeah. Now I can say 2021. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to go back to back. <laughs> um, But I don't know. Like, we'll see what happens in the future for, for everything else. Just because, like... There's a lot of stuff changing because mm-hmm. um, I feel like even for like some adults with like the whole like pronouns with like the he's and the she's and stuff like that. Because like even like right now, my mom's going through this like whole transition. I don't think my dad's really noticed it just because he's not working anything corporate. Mm-hmm. But like I feel like there, there, there's a huge shift in things just because like now it's like, oh, if you now people want to be called. Like, I was, the way I explained it to her was, like, yo, there can be people that's going to look like a, a she, but they're going to want to be pr- um, basically as uh, known as a he. Right. And then she's like, yo, but, like, that sounds so confusing. I'm like, yo, it's the generation we live in, bro. Yeah. I'm like, it's different. It's very different. I haven't come across it that, like, at all mm-hmm. in my day-to-day. Like, I see it in people's bios. The funniest one I saw was, bruh, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that can be what? <laughs> Freaking loved it. Um, but no, like, I don't care. Like, if you want to be ca- called a certain way, like, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll call you a certain way. I'm not yeah, trying I got to, no problem with that. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, but, like... My... Just don't get mad at me the first day, like, if I say, yo, mm-hmm. what's up, man? Be like, yeah. yo, I'm not mad. I'm like, yo, my bad. I don't even know you, so... It's, yeah. Just how, tell how me I, one how time. Supposed to... I'll, yeah. Going forward, I'll be I'll be on it, but no. Yeah. Tell me one time and we're blessed. Um, yeah. Like, just tell me one time I'm blessed and I'll remember for next time, but yeah. don't page me like that. No. Allow me, fam. Allow me, bro. Trust me. It's a man <laughs> from Brampton. <laughs> actually just a man's from Brampton. That's my pronoun. What? Brampton Shorty. Is that your Twitter? Uh, it's like a pinned tweet. So I, I, if, my, it's only real if it's in it, your Twitter Yeah, name. it's not even in my bio. No, I can't, I can't claim the, it. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's not in the bio... That means it's just like a side for it. Oh, that's your side piece. Tasnia Khan, brackets, Brampton Shorty, Sandalwood, Batty. You trying to claim that title? <laughs> you sure? I, I, I'll, I'll take the Sandalwood <laughs> part out, but I'll claim myself as a Brampton Shorty. Put it in your bio. Let's see what happens. For life. As a... As a public servant. Would they allow you to do no. that? Because like, they, they don't know what that really means, though. They'll be like... Brampton Shorty. They're gonna, but they're gonna see Brampton. They're gonna be like, "Huh? I thought you're you're for the Toronto people." Yeah, you're here for the Toronto people, but you're repping where you're from, right? Because you know, if you sneak Brampton, we're gonna be like, "Nah, nah." When, they, <laughs> when the man decides that they're done, then he can't be coming back to Brampton now. True, true. Stay in I have to stay um, true to my roots. Yeah, Brampton. Brampton. Not I Toronto. no, I wrote it out in my. It, I have a pin tweet says. When I do big things, mm-hmm. my Wikipedia page cannot claim me as a Toronto girl. I wanted to say she was a Brampton shorty. <laughs> <laughs> I claim Brampton. I want to be one of the best things to come out of the city. I won't let Tristan Thompson take that. Yo, is he? Is Tristan Thompson the most notable person from Brampton? I think so. Most Just because he notable in terms of what, like think... status wise. Like not just like in their field only. Like when when people. Like see, that, that's how about Tory. Russell Peters? No, nah, I feel like Tristan Thompson's bigger than than Tori. Tori? Really? Because yeah. he went mainstream with the Kardashians. Yeah, the Kardashian gave him a big boost, and the man's being like a savage that whole right now. Story with him and the whole. Yo, that bumped him up even higher. Who? Tristan Thompson. He put Brampton Mans on the map. He put y'all on the map. Yeah, I can't lie. When Tristan Thompson bagged the Kardashian, I'm like, yo. We, we made it. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I see. 
I guess. Because I, ca- I can't think of anyone really from Brampton. Anthony That's... Bennett. Tio. <laughs> <laughs> did you tweet about him? I probably did. I feel like I saw something recently. Maybe. Yeah. I just said he's trash. Okay. Yeah. If For Team Canada? Kill. Oh, yeah, I think that's what it yes, was. I was yes, like, how's yes. he on the roster? You pre that already, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Government official, yo. Yeah. I tweeted they, they just, you, you said something about that, didn't you? <laughs> yo, watch what you say. Yo, <laughs> Nick and his lossless uh, Apple Music uh, subscription. <laughs> Trust me, I might have to. But if Anthony Bennett comes for me, yeah, I'm not a ball man, but I just critique ball. Yeah. You're playing the sport, not me. Yeah. Make me 6'8". And then we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, man, I forgot what I was saying then. Uh, Brampton damn. man's on the map. Oh, yeah. Brampton Roy man's Woods, on the map. Roy Woods, K Forest. No, but they're not bigger than Justin Thompson. No, no, but these are just notable people that are Bramptonians. <laughs> yeah, Seventh they're, kind. But does, but does Roy Woods even claim Brampton? Uh, no, Brampton. he does because he has a song called B-Town. Hmm. You're right. You're right about that. He did a whole music video in front of like Chinkuzi. Okay, hey, Forrest, does he claim Brampton? Never heard him claim it. He's not even he's not even here no more. He's with his uh unless oh, no, Anders. I'm mixing up with him. Anders, I think, is a saga man. Hmm. No, I don't know. I don't Anders is in Brampton. He is no, 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 he's not Brampton. And he lives in Burlington. Burlington. Oh, you got the inside school part. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Where everybody lives in here? Like, I'm just scratching my head trying to think where everyone is, but you're just quick with it. She's, her, she's just uh, saying all these answers and seeing if, we, if we're confirming it. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this is correct, right? <laughs> damn, yeah, we're, damn, you're trying to make us move like 6 9 out here. Mm. Oh, lit. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's basically it for him, bro. He's, I think he's the most notable Brampton man. That's all we got for now. Yeah. So it's him and Tory Lanez. Well, Tory Lanez doesn't claim Brampton. He doesn't. That's nah, true. So he doesn't count. He he claims he claims Toronto. Yeah. Is this Tarzan? Who else is there? I think that may be it. That's oh, well. it. We'll be the next one. Small roster, but yeah, we got we're small. up and coming. We're, we got a local roster, you know. Yeah. We got a local team. We got some good creatives in the scene. We got some up and coming politicians. No, nah, but you know what the problem is, though? <laughs> it's, just because, it's just because people don't want to claim Brampton. I claim Brampton. Uh, I used to be embarrassed about Brampton. And then I realized we have a really distinct culture that we should be very proud of. What's that? It's, I don't know what it is. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. it's not a vibe. Nope. So. It's definitely not a vibe. Come on. It's there is no vibe. Brampton's a vibe. What vibe? What vibe did you catch from out of Brampton? <laughs> we're like a we're like a like a stew pot. You know what I mean? Like we're just a bunch of stuff you throw together and you just mix it and then eventually just turn it to something. Mm-hmm. And you know, like only certain parts of the stew is gonna taste blessed. There's gonna be other parts that's not gonna taste as blessed. But that's basically Brampton. Yeah. We're great, it, though. Like, I, I think... I don't know about great. I think it sucks <laughs> when people shit on us, and they have every right to, but I don't think we mm-hmm. should shit on ourselves. Do we, though? We do. I feel like we just make fun of the other half of Brampton that just, you know... What's that's the always other doing half? all the weird stuff. <laughs> all the memes and all the funny stuff that you see when these guys are fighting. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's, the, that's one half of Brampton. The parking lot fight where the people brought out like bats and stuff. Have you seen that video? How long ago did that drop? A couple of weeks ago. Was oh no, I didn't even see that. Still, so. that's different still. So. But Brampton, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll be the ones to boom Brampton to to be popping. Legendary status. Legendary. But COVID shots. Are you fully vaxxed? No, we walked out. We were getting our second shot and we walked out. They tried to give you Moderna, right? They like? tried to fuck me up. Yo. T- and I said, nah. You're Actually, I didn't do Pfizer? shit. Daniel said that. You're Pfizer? I'm Pfizer. Pfizer game. Pfizer uh, I heard some, some shoppers are accepting walk-ins. Yeah? Some are. But I got snake, bro. Um, basically, what happens on Friday, I went for my COVID shot. Boom, boom. I was like, yo, parking lot's kind of empty. Like, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> Pulled up. I walked all the way to the door. 
doors locked. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Go on the other side, doors locked. And it's like, yo, we're no longer administrative um, vaccines anymore. I'm like, bro, this guy didn't give me no email to tell me that there's no vaccines. That they're not doing vaccines here. Mm-hmm. So I got cheese. Went home and I'm like, man, I went out just to get my arm joked and it didn't happen. Fuck. So I'm only point. Why did three. they not? How come they don't administer it anymore? I don't know. I guess they just decided that they're not doing it anymore because, like, I know some places they stopped doing it. So you had to rebook? I haven't rebooked yet, okay. though. Yeah. I'm going to book eventually. Yeah. But, like, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, go mud because mm-hmm. these guys are wilding, trying to cross match things. And who already done told us, yo, you guys can't be mixing and matching this. It's not candy. Yeah. I don't know why we thought it was okay to do that. We were, like, the only one of the only countries that were, like, from the jump being like, yeah, let's let's mix and match here. Cause you were, we're just, I don't know, bro. We're just throwing things we're at the wall up. and we're seeing what. Up, that's all. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. Just take it. It's like, oh, look, <laughs> look, look at our vaccine rate. Oh. No, we're looking blessed, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people got vaccinated. Oh, we're caught up. They're just trying to look good on paper. It's, you know, it's all about the data. Yeah. It's corporate. I'm kind of scared, man. All the stupidness. This guy's gonna vote like conservatives. <laughs> <laughs> Cause so much people love to like, like blame change, and they're gonna be like, "No, we want the old shit back." Watch. And the old okay. stuff's not even gonna come back. It's gonna be like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll bring it back, <laughs> eventually." Yeah. And then watch them do a worse their job. A lie. <sighs> NDP guys, I'm telling you. Nah, relax. But this is not. A, <laughs> see, this is not a politically driven podcast. A lie. If it was, you wouldn't be here today. Thank you for She that. could. A couple of days before she she's officially. Oh, yeah, you work for a server. side, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. She's a conservative. She found a loophole. I'm not chill. You work for the conservative. No, party. no, 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 no. Mayorals aren't, uh, mm. they're not on party lines. Mm. We are for the Torontonian yeah, people. Okay. I hope so. I hope it's for the people, <laughs> you for know? The people. I serve Toronto. Cause you know, corporate, corporate demand. You know. <laughs> um, you got any last things you guys want to talk about before we wrap it up for today? Um, I think I had one thing that I saw. Mm. Uh, I don't see anything, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Tazzy, anything you want to you wanna throw out there before you sign off with the man's or Mawson? Let's make it a little political. If you guys could enact a policy. What? Like, a policy. Like, <laughs> I asked this question to a guy the other day, and he was like, get the trucks off the 401. Mm. So you what is our policy? Yeah, what's like if you get the could... motherfucking bike niggas off the fucking road, <laughs> man? Get their own lanes. And He's shit. been complaining about this and since the last bicycle podcast. Mans, or are you talking about motorcycle men? No, the bicycle niggas like they need their own fucking lanes, and they shouldn't be riding near cars. That's all I'm gonna say. Are you? And we need from the fucking experience? autobahn, huh? You're speaking from experience, like you're having bad experiences with bikers. Uh, only once or twice. Mm-hmm. The one time I I felt like I could have GTA'd them. I was making a right <laughs> turn, and it's like he, he was just like, "Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop." And it's like if I didn't check my mirror, I guarantee he would have went flying. Yep. So I stomped on those brakes and everything, and I'm like, whoa. Voluntary manslaughter. Mm. Like, yo, imagine he fucking, fl- like, he didn't stop. You would have folded him. I would have mm-hmm. folded him. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, you're not even a car. You're just this 2D object. <laughs> He'd be feeling that <laughs> whole thing. <laughs> like, so yeah. But that's that's my uh, okay. that's my thing that you requested. Mm. I like that. Get the bikers off the roads. I want reparations. Give, I hear you. Give all. Go, you give, see how she does? I hear you. <laughs> wow. Yo, I'm telling you. I'm man. at the bottom Hold of the pond now. Hold on. <laughs> the reparations, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> is, is there any policy? So I'm like, yo, give me some reparations. <laughs> ah, that's going to take some time. You know see, what? That doesn't seem plausible. Hey, man, COVID showed me that we can pull money out of anywhere. So, yo, all I'm saying, 
I think all color people should get their reparations. Mm-hmm. You know, and then that's basically it. There is a place in the U.S. right now where descendants of a place called Rosewood mm-hmm. are getting reparations because um, this white woman just was like, mm, I got like raped by a black man. And that neighborhood didn't have black people. It was from neighboring neighborhood would have like, it was very segregated. She was having an affair with a white man and was getting caught and just like blamed it on, oh, like a black man came in, did things to me. And then it became like a witch hunt to find this one black man who just like doesn't exist. And they burnt down that whole town. Like that town doesn't exist. Mm. Just one house remains and that was the house of like a white man wasn't that like based off the uh no, it's, not, it's not emma Till. what what were you gonna say no i was gonna say the um <clears throat> what's it called i think it was like the black oh. it's called the rosewood tulsa? massacre it's uh, similar to tulsa but yeah. this one is called rosewood massacre and it displaced like thousands of black Americans. I think it was like the black like so. stock market, like where a lot of the, like it was like their version of like where their stock oh, market was and stuff like that. Yeah, that, like that's Tulsa people. though, oh, that's right? Tulsa? Okay, yeah, so yeah. Up with that. Because it was like shop owners and yeah. things like that, and people were just upset. Yeah, just Karens. A bunch of Karens and that was the ri- Rosewood was like the original Karen. Just mm-hmm. <laughs> that she, that's her. I like she got caught cheating. Yeah, she's like Yo, I'm just gonna blame the black one. Yeah. That's actually rough still. I'm telling you, we, we, need, we need some reparations, What's well, happening? It's happening. It's happening. But, like, you have Jamaica to be... A... wants reparations, and even though they're not going to get that? <laughs> they're not, they're not pressing the... They're not going to press the British. I mean, they're not going to... I don't think they're going to get it at all. I think the whole world needs reparations from but who's the gonna, United Kingdom. <laughs> who's going to pay them? I want some shit from the Queen. Yo... I'm telling you, if we all just gang up, no, I'm not even gonna say it because they're gonna say because they're gonna be like I'm, I'm, I'm being anti-Semitic or I'm a terrorist. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna put that out there. Um, what's it called? Who would pay? Like, man, if everyone were to get reparations, I don't know. But I'm just talking about for like you know us. Mm-hmm. See, I can only focus about us. I'm not putting the policy for the world. Yeah, I'm putting the policy for like the GTA. So give us all reparations. Everything else is gonna go up. It's gonna go back into the economy, and we're blessed. That's he. That's how you hit a reset. Just give people money, and then just write it off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can just write that off. Just scrub the books clean. A perfect world, but we're not gonna do that. Yo, but like, what about the money for that we use for COVID? That's like, dead. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna write that off. No, we're gonna pay for it. How, like, who are we paying? Our generation, the generations after. But who are we paying? The government. the government. So the government got to pay the government? <laughs> the government is repaid by our tax dollars. Okay, but like... I don't know. Like... You're answering yourself. Don't worry. <sighs> Take it slow. Nah. It's just, I'm just trying to say like... No one ever get, gives a handout. Like, we don't get handouts from the government. We I pay it that. back somehow. I hear know? that. But like, I'm just saying that like... I feel like if you just, like, give people money to buy stuff, it can kind of reset things. That's not going to happen, though. I know, but, you know, I'm I can only girls. hope. That's just my policy I'm trying to put out yeah, there. Yeah, I like it. It's it's a cute policy. I'm, I'm handing it <gasps> off. To, I'm, she said it's immature, basically. I know. But, like, you know, one day they're going to be in the room. They're going to be talking. You never know. It could just yeah. come up. And then, you know, they'll be like, yo, that's a good idea. Well, it's basically stimulus checks. It's, it's what you're saying, basically. Mm-hmm. Without having to basically pay back. Yeah, you don't yeah. got to pay that back. Yeah, and like, just put it into the economy, rebuild. Basically. Because it brings back all the businesses mm-hmm. That's just, uh, and stuff yeah, like man. that. Give you, everyone like 100 You can quit dreaming now. Oh, wait, how, many, how much money? 100K? See, she 100K. Just, all, she does, all she does is you work just, for you, the you fucking just billionaires. Just worry about the numbers, she yeah. defends them. <laughs> she defends them. She defends them. It's so crazy. Mean? 100K, I'm pretty sure that, that that's just like a little write-off. I think what you're thinking about is like universal basic income. Like everyone gets a, like a solid 30K, no matter what. That would be wicked. Like you turn 18, you get 30K. It's I, almost like Monopoly. I have a very unpopular opinion about universal basic income. Not a fan. 
You're not for the people. I, you know, no, she's not nah, really for nah, the nah, people. Nah, 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 for nah. the people. Yo, let me defend myself. I believe in universal basic services. I think you should have like access to like services like internet, housing, mm-hmm. good plumbing. I don't think giving any single person 30k means that they're gonna do good things with it. That's my decision. That, but that's for them. Because remember, to the school out. system is supposed to help it, guide us to basically educate us to know. If anything, what we need. that money would probably just go back into the system. Mm-hmm. Because yo, we just gave you 30k to start off with. It's your fault. You fucked up. Because school is supposed to, you know, set us up for life, help us, you know, make the right decision, understand taxes, spending money. Borrowing money and stuff like that. Why couldn't the government, yeah, just boost you with a little bit of change? And it's, yo, if you fuck it up, you fuck it up. That's on you. That's on you. It's like a credit, but without having I don't to... like it. I don't Why? like... It's like a write-off. It's just like, oh, yeah. I don't Why? have to do exactly. shit. Let me just take 30K. Instead of like, yo, there's something so, beautiful so, so, about so, the grind. Like, Yo, it's... that's what I'm saying. No, you still, still got to grind. Oh, like, my if gosh. Bigger, if you want bigger things in life, you got to work for that, right? She basically said, nah. <laughs> not making people's life easier. I don't want it nah, to No, it's a cutthroat there's, world. There's, there's dog no, eat she, dog world. She has provided that's no... Not the, that's not the world we're No conclusive right evidence as to why. You know what? I think idea. I like the gladiator world. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we've come down to. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> like, telling you. pit everyone against She's each other. <laughs> She's conservative. Stop this. I have melanin. I'm definitely not. I'm... Wo- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're talking about communism. What's you wrong? want everyone to just be good. No, co- see, communism sound like uh And uh, communism yo, doesn't work. In theory, I understand it doesn't work. It doesn't work because but do you see it a, happening is, and being successful? This is successful? like a hybrid version of it, yo. Because you're educating your society yeah. to know how to handle. Well, that okay, it's like why? Why are they now just teaching you how to get how to, how to like clear debt and do taxes and shit in schools all of a sudden now? Should have been learning. That, that. should have been a thing. I agree. We can't agree that oh, here's a little lump sum of cash to get you started in life, and then. That money will somehow get re returned back into society. It gives kids incentives to finish school too. Let's give them a head start but on we're some going form to be of paying generational for wealth. This. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be paying for it. Like thirty k just doesn't come out of I'll anyone's go. ass. Write that up. It's okay. That's a ton of taxes. <laughs> Yo, it's okay. None of we're y'all doing like it already taxes. And that's why we got the healthcare shit. Damn man, COVID proved to me that like I'm my taxes still were the same. Yeah. And I got no good returns. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even matter. All right. So, oh, like, Andrea. like if I know that I'm getting 30K, like, I'm in school, I'm, I'm learning financial literacy and everything, mm-hmm. yo, 30K, that's a blast. I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to flip it. You know, like, most people, I'm pretty sure that will be coming out of high school, be like, yo, I'm going to take that 30K and flip it to 100K, and then now your economy is going to be booming more because like, now you have people that know how to make money, and now they got that head start. I'm telling you, yo, it can be a big game changer. I hear what you're saying. But you're not for it. I'm not for it because I I, I think the reason that the U.S. is so far ahead is because they have... They're far they're ahead. Ba- they're ass backward. You girl, you're so fooled by this. No, by the I was gonna say, we were just talking about New Orleans and Miami. It's just, it's just a strip okay, in the rest sure. of poverty. But when you think about like the average salary... Like if I was This to... is all white man numbers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not winning. <laughs> It looks good <laughs> optic wise. Niggas is dying every day. The white man is benefiting from that in America. It's facts. Gun store like a store. Yo, if you said um, if you said Canada, then I'll probably be like, alright, cool. But like America is definitely not the, the template you wanna run off of. Mm-hmm. Fair. You are so eaten up by the system that you defend <laughs> it like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You Nick is, free yourself, I man. just want to say Nick is looking at me with such disgust right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> he doesn't it's, claim me. It's crazy. <laughs> Not. She said America is doing a great job at being <laughs> number one, basically. It's a very rich country. It's horrible. No, it's nah, not. They're, nah, they're, in they're the most weirdest debt ever. <laughs> it's a rich country. I appreciate it. They have like a. I appreciate they owe money to like people we don't even know. China. Like, it's just mm. not even that. It's just probably question marks. I can't believe you, the hundredaire defending the millionaire. Oh no, Nick. I'm I'm talking for discussion. Uh, you can get thirty k. You can get thirty k. Nah, now we can <laughs> no, get thirty k. We can all get thirty k. <laughs> You know what? At the same time, our mindset might change once we hit the milli and be like, yo, what are these people, yo? Trust me. 
That's like, how you're going to be feeling. But at the same time, we're for the people. We're the podcast for the people. We always got to be for the people. So even if we're we don't feeling that way, the people's going to check us and be like, nah. For sure. We, we need that stimulus check. It's yeah. like, yo, we got you. Because I don't see what's so hard with that. Just give people a look of change. Because mm-hmm. like OSAP, you got to pay that back. Everything you got to pay back. Everything has to be paid back. But like when you're going through school, they basically say everyone's a winner. So you got to switch something up. Yeah. Confusing us all. <laughs> <laughs> I take no accountability. But I hear you. Uh, get bikers off the roads and 30K for all. No, no, my, mine, mine's reparations. Rep- That's not the 30k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reparations. I told you to never forget about the reparations. He's like, That's a little bit too much. Trying to steer you off away. I was like, no, no, no. Mine's reparations, yo. Oh, She's my like, goodness. No, people getting money and black people getting reparations? <laughs> no, uh, nigga. Stop it. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> um, so I'm before dead. we sign off, Tazio, where can people hit you up if they need to? The government's website. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Tori. Uh, no, Instagram at by Tasnia. Mm-hmm. Same thing on Twitter as well. Aren't you for like protected? <laughs> I am. No, I am. <laughs> they're going to try following. She's like, ha, no. No. <laughs> and then she's going to do the creeping on you, bro. Be careful, What would you say about Anthony Bennett? <laughs> what, me? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Just <laughs> Yo. Sorry, I didn't say nothing. Who are you? And then she's going to look you all up. Bro. <laughs> hey, man, Be safe I'm... out there, guys. Be safe out there. Government's watching you. I'm watching. Episode 82. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Take care. Ooh.